Hello and welcome to another episode of the Mile High Dungeon Delvers. I'm Adrian. I'm Clue. I'm Allison. I'm Bob. This is Leander. <laughs> and I'm your DM, Wes. Um, we are rejoining the group today as they have uh, successfully evaded some inquisitors of the Scales of Balance and are heading into the Farrowood. So they recently camped um, right at the non farrowwood side of the bridge that leads across the Farrow River into the wood, the Spooky Wood, which um, Nat and Knaz know is guarded by a ghost named Captain Jemaine. And so they decided to wait on this side overnight away from him so that he could just, like, stand over on the other side of the bridge and look longingly <laughs> at them. Like, why, why aren't they coming into my bridge? I'm going to cross my sad. bridge. I'm so excited we're going to the creepy forest today. Yes. <laughs> creepy forest. <laughs> Things are um, going to happen. But we didn't do the night, so what are the watches? Let's do the night. Wow. Uh, I assume Mr. Tiki aiding whoever mm -hmm. takes watch. I'll take first watch. I get advantage, right, with Mr. Tiki aiding. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's 15. I'll take the mid-watch. You don't have any... Um, I have no modifiers to my perception. Let's see. <laughs> At all? That's... Your I have a little... Your, your watch tired? passes without incident. Ooh. Next. Okay. And this is a perception roll? Yep. You have advantage. With advantage? Yeah. 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 Just you. Just you. Still you need it. Oh, no. Uh, 11. <laughs> your watch passes without incident. How nice. Yeah. Right, I'll take the third watch. 21. Next. During your watch, you spot Captain Jermaine at the far side of the bridge waving at you. <laughs> <laughs> I went back. I went back. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Don't use your spells. What? It's the middle of the night. I'm going to rest. Not if you're the last watch? That's a fair... That's that's a good point. <laughs> I, I I go, hey, Captain, and I wait. Why don't you just come cross my bridge? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna hang out tomorrow. We're gonna hang out. I got people to show you. I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 then we sit awkwardly for an additional what four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at each other. <laughs> it's like the worst case ever of like saying goodbye and then they're still there. <laughs> Four hours later. Uh, all right, who's next? I can't watch because I don't have dark vision. Okay. I guess Mr. Well, what, Tiki alone. What time is it? Yeah, I can do it. Each long. watch is two hours. Two hours, so we need one more. I'll be fine. Yeah, he doesn't sleep. Hey. Uh, what am I looking? Perception? Yep. Yep. Uh, that would be a per 18. You notice that uh, the night goes quietly. Nice. All right. I'll so you're saying it. that he doesn't see Captain Jermaine? No. Very far away. With a 21? He's he only had an 18. 18. Uh, I rolled a 21. Okay. So then it's the morning. <laughs> Such a beautiful day. And we still have Trell. Yes, you still and have Trell. And you still like have Trell, other... the leader of the... Or not leader, but the agent of mm -hmm. the... Um, he doesn't like humans, and I don't like the him. The Liberation, the Freedom Front? Yes, the Tiefling Freedom Front. Tiefling. And you also have with you Shax, Delia, and Forkus, the three uh, Tiefling slaves that chose to come with you instead of heading um, east to Carter. So, yep. The big city. All cool. Right. Uh, just a reminder for those of you who haven't done this before, this bridge is... A little sketchy. We'll be able to get across just fine. Just, you know, watch where you step. And then the captain on the other side will, uh, be an experience. What should we expect from this captain? Uh, he'll grill you, but it's a pretty friendly way. You're, you're with Nat and I, and he knows us and trusts us and is used to us bringing people across. And at this point, he just he gets more curious. He just, he'll, I'm sure there will be many questions. Okay. Now, the bridge is a little tough going, so I made us all cloaks. And Nat has, like, two big handfuls of miniature, like, doll's cloaks made of leaves. What's this? It'll, it'll become 
Just in case. It'll become obvious. In case what? I don't know, you know. Can we find dolls? No, no, they're for you. They're for you. Well, one's for you. Anyway. We'll be fine. Do Everything we all, will be do fine. take our you little cloaks make now? These or do you just... I, I need them. To, I need them. They're a spell uh, component. For later. Don't worry about it. Can I put it in my bag? I have. Do I have to carry it? I have eight of them. Cool. I don't... Interesting. No, no, no. I'll take care of it. There's okay. nine of us. Well, me. I don't... You I don't need one of them. Right. Can I, do I have to keep it on me? No, 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 in no. My bag? It's a spell component for me. So I just, I keep them. Oh, why'd you even show us then? Because they're <laughs> cute. Oh. I made... They're weird. I made p- eight tiny cloaks out of leaves. Yeah, it's weird. Fine. Cloaks? Yeah, yeah. It says miniature cloak. Okay. It's, nice. uh, yeah. it's a thing she does. <laughs> just fine. <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll All right. go with it. So, you're standing on the south side of the river. Uh, before we leave, though, uh... Matt, you can kind of talk to animals, right? Yeah, totally. So we're we're cutting the oxen loose to go be oxen. Oh. So really, we don't we like don't want waste. to take them with us. Uh, There's no way we're getting really no, no way they idea. would cross the bridge. Maybe the only way we're of... taking them with us is if we spend a day butchering them and <laughs> carry a bunch but, of raw meat. Into but you the know, woods, let's talk to them instead. Not. Let's... Not something Which would attract all kinds of predators. Yeah, Maybe something instead something of those tiny cloaks, you should have made a better bridge. Okay, we just not coming across. The will help us. Unfortunately, this is where our time with the oxen uh, comes to an end. Are we going to come out this way? Maybe they'll wait here for us. We're going into the Faro Wood. Uh, it might be a few days from our perspective. It could be a month for them to just wait by the road. They and... have grass to graze on, and it's a river. They can drink the water. I think somebody uh, else would come would they along go? and be like, hey, there's some ox and a cart. <laughs> Sweet. Like, they're they're... The odds of them still being here when we come back would be slim. I think it's better to, you know, we can leave the cart here by the roadside, and we can cut them loose, and, you know, maybe when we come back, they are still just grazing off in the in the field here. You could but... tell them to wait for us. I mean, what am I, yes, what am I telling them? That we're leaving. Goodbye, thank you. You've been such good oxen. I'm, sp- I'm spending a spell sl- slot for this. <laughs> Here's an <laughs> idea. Can they just pat their butts and be done with it? I didn't Dude. realize it was a full spell for you to <laughs> communicate is. with them. Yeah, then we just uh, okay. cut them loose. I do that and... too. I pat them on the butt. Good uh, oxen. I pet their ears. They like that. <laughs> oxen like that. Okay. Do they? No, I don't yeah. know. I've never petted an oxen <laughs> in my human Missing life. Out. Out. <laughs> I've never done it, but I'm assuming they like it. They like snort in like a, I enjoy this kind of way. Cows like Aww. being scratched between their eyes. Yeah. But they probably like that too. Yeah, interesting. They yeah. kind of like a little one. Slot mm-hmm. rub because yeah, they got big wide faces. You can rub your whole hand on the on uh, this part. Yeah, they also need to be very caring for this oxen. So I'll t- I'll pat the oxen <laughs> as well and says, "Be very weary of predators that might kill you. Hopefully, you will survive." That's, uh, that's good advice. Actually, it tilts its head. It looks and looks at you bewilderedly. <laughs> I do the same back to it. <laughs> All right, now we're we'll share a moment. Nice. <laughs> now I think we're ready to cross. Okay, so the. Um, River uh, is pretty slow going. I mean, it's just sort of wide and slow and flat. Um, the bridge is it's got like a bit of an arch at the front where you are, but it's totally crumbled and gone. And it's uh, arches across the bridge like three or four times to support itself in the river. Um, and those Spots where it the arches would come down into the river are kind of the only spots that are left. There's a little bit of stepping in between, but it's mostly crumbled, and there will be some athletics checks involved to get across. Uh, and then you see at the end is a similar arch uh, that is totally crumbled, but behind that, the trees of the firewood sort of arch over it, and craggly uh, branches intertwine to announce the entrance into the wood. Cool. Very cool. So, who's going first? Uh, I will go first to kind of show the way, uh, and then I assume, Nat, you'll kind of come up behind, maybe? Or... I should be the last one, too, because right. as everyone goes, I'm going to try to help them along, and then I'll be the last. So you, I'll bring up the rear. You go first. Go. Okay. So how did Jermaine for me? He was weird last night. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly. Classic Jermaine. A little weird. Yeah. All right. All right, so roll me your athletics check. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, sorry. That's fine. Yeah, roll the... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I hand you a cloak. Oh. Ding. And 
Uh, I don't know. I It disappears as I hand it to you. Because it's a spell component. Um, I cast resistance on you. So you get, a, if you have to roll a save, saving throw, you get oh. plus d4. Okay. But hopefully you won't have to. Alright. That's cantrip, so. 14. Uh, plus 6 is 20. Okay. So you hop across and, like, find some really shaky-looking stones and avoid those. And hop, bit hop, bit hop. Watch the stones here and here and a little bit over there. And this is good right here. And you make it across to the other side. What's up, Jermaine? You don't see him. Oh. Oh, but yeah, I mean, you would I know still that just say some, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just still say, say You know that a lot of the times he's there even if you can't see him. Yeah. But you don't hear him say anything in response or anything like that. If you're around, Jermaine, we uh, got some new people coming across. We'll, uh, you know, maybe see you. Maybe not. Every day. All right. Next. Come, come across. Okay, who's gone? I'm going to grab hold of both Felia and Forcus. Just grab them by the wrists. And I'll cast Levitate. And we'll just float up and across as we need to. Okay. Elves, man. Elves. <laughs> Are you telling me I made three extra points? <laughs> I mean, you can really use it later. <laughs> That's a good point. I'll keep them on. All right, so you float across to the other side. Make a perception check. Fourteen. You kind of hear of the whispering of a voice kind of under its breath. I don't know if I apparently didn't hear that whisper, so... <laughs> oh. It's a voice. <laughs> Different. That's no fun. Oh, that's no fun? Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was... Are the tieflings shrieking? I mean, it's got to be alarming. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even... <laughs> you didn't even <laughs> before, I'm sure. Yeah, they're kind of freaking out. All right. Well, Again. We'll, we'll settle down on the other side of the bridge. All right, who's next? I can go next. I might fall. My athletics is not high. A patch on the shoulder, and then a cloak that I'm holding in my hand is like, poof. Ten. Okay, so you paid attention to um, where Kanaz told you were good spots to step and good spots to not step. And you step like exactly where you thought you saw him step. And roll an intelligence save. No! Add your d4. Oh, okay. Any saving throw. Okay. Four plus seven. <laughs> okay. So you're 100% sure this is exactly where he stepped. And you step on it, and it. And you like fall straight through the solid stone and ah! splash into the water. And then you hear a... <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine. Colette, are you okay down there? I guess. How deep's the water? It's not that deep, right? It's like um, 10 feet or less. You're, I mean, deep enough that you can't touch the bottom. Yeah. But yeah. But with very little effort, I'm not going to make you roll. You're just treading water and you're fine. You'll have to climb back out or something. Yeah, do I... I mean, presumably it's so high I can't, like, touch the, no. the bridge to climb back up. I'll have to climb up the, like... Right. So you have to swim or, over to yeah, the... Sure. The next, like, pole. Right, and then climb back up. Good news, I get, though! I have three extra cloaks! <laughs> I, get, I get down in my bag and pull out my, my rope and go over to the side where I see her swimming over and toss her down a rope to kind of help pull her up. Thanks, Kanaz. Um, so you toss the rope. Um, roll an intelligence save. He still has how long, resistance. How long does the cloak? He didn't rest? have to use it. Yeah, yeah it's a D4. It, uh, no, yeah. I have to concentrate on it. So oh. it's, it went away. It went away. Yeah, oh. that's why we're going. Yeah, that's why I'm staying back. Oh, okay, this is concentration. That's fine. That's not. <laughs> oh no. Six. <laughs> okay, so you toss the rope um, at what looks like an open spot of bridge, and it just like lands as if it's sitting on solid stone. Damn it, Jermaine! Not right now, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. And then you just shake it around until it falls through somewhere. <laughs> I go make my way over to the rope yep. in the water, and I climb up it. Do I have to make a climb check? Yes. That's, athletics. That's athletics again. Okay. But you can roll it advantage, because uh, you've got oh, at the top nice. pulling you up and everything. Nine. <laughs> oh, my God. It takes me a while. <laughs> All right, so you climb up and, like, bump your head on a bridge that you can't see because it's invisible. <laughs> But eventually make your way up. So it's quite the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> and 
And every time something like that happens, you just hear a voice go, <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> next. All right, next. Okay. I, I pat you. Pat, pat. Thank you. <laughs> um, cast resistance That'd be more like you. this, don't you think? Oh, yeah, it'd be more like, there you go. <laughs> I don't know if it rings back there. Maybe, what's this one? You get a hollow spot, yeah. Your resistance. I don't know, that doesn't sound right either. Um, it's like athletics. too chingy, yep. don't you think? Yeah. 20. Yeah. You just like use your robot legs and go go gadget, and just like clunk, clunk, yes. clunk, and you're just across. Easy. Perfect. Now I want to start um, detect magic ritual. Okay. Now that I'm on the other side. All right. And then um, Trell still, and yeah. Shax are left. Wait, wait, wait. Are they going one at a time? Yeah. Shax They'll each get over. resistance. Okay. Shax makes it across. She looks pretty shaky. She sees, like, where other people fell through, even though it looked safe. And, like, a part way across is, like, thinks she's got an idea and, like, jumps into midair and lands on stone that you can't see. And is like, yeah. <laughs> see, I'll let you help someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Trell just kind of, like, walks across, like, no problem, without even jumping. He's just, like, as if he can see where the actual stones are. Stupid nice. troll. That's cool. <laughs> now, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> Do you, I will cross. I, I don't think I can cast on myself. No? Eh. Why? You touch one willing creature, I guess I could cast yeah. on myself. Yeah, you're willing on, on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're okay. willing. <laughs> I'm willing. Oh, I'm a... Luckily, we found out now, so. that I have uh, some athletics ability earlier, a... <laughs> earlier today. Yeah. That's huh. not a cantrip, though. That's a first-level spell. No, that's a cantrip. Oh, Resistance. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, Adjuration. I was going to say, you're using up a lot of spell slots. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't. Okay. No. Not that it helped much, I'll let. Anyway. Uh, 14. Yeah, you are able to make it across with no incident. Great. <sighs> um, and then as soon as... Nicely done, as always, Matt. Thanks, Jermaine. That was fun. It was. He appears um, kind of at the archway of trees just beyond the bridge. Uh, he's kind of looks like that, like a bluey Ooh. red ghost. Mm -hmm. In, uh, nice, handsome guy. Yep. Is he that blue? That looks yeah. pretty vibrant. Mm -hmm. No, super vibrant yeah. once he becomes Ultramarine. less visible, or less invisible, as it were. <laughs> Bees um, can see him better. I yeah. mean, that's what they tell me. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got like uh, just a normal like soldier's helm with a point and a spear. He's like, Good job, guys. That was a lot of fun. So now you gotta was tell it? me the password. What What would Nat and Kanaz know about this? Um, Do we know the password? Does it change? Is it a real? Yeah, it's it's always a different password, you know. Ah. Yes, yeah, of course, the, the password, Kanaz. Uh, <laughs> watch your step. That one's a doozy. I like that one. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so good at that. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I get him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, everyone, Jermaine, Jermaine, everyone. Hi, everybody. Uh, let, sorry, you got a little wet. I glare at <laughs> Jermaine. That was the best part. <laughs> was it? <clears throat> yep. You're lucky. How have uh, how things been on this side of the river there, Jermaine? Gloomy as always. Any anyone come through recently that uh, isn't expected? He thinks for a second and says, "No, I see everybody coming. No, no surprises. No unexpected. Anyone new? No. Besides all of our new friends, just new friends. No inquisitors. Ugh. No, I never let them through. Okay, I like you more now." I like you too. Hmm. Winks. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you went from luck. Like, you're you're dead, Jermaine, to uh, flirting with Jermaine real quick. Oh, all that. No, she's right. I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're dead. You're dead. That, that's chill. There's lots of things are dead. Yeah, some of my best friends are dead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. The forest looms in front of us. Yep. Yeah. 
Does my detect that magic uh, ritual? Oh, yeah, so if you hang around for the, the ten minutes to detect the magic, um, you detect uh, faint necromancy from Jemaine, just because he's an undead, and a lot of illusion and uh, abjurations and stuff like all over that bridge. Ah, okay. Yep. I will explain what I... that I... And clearly that this man is dead um, because I'm detecting necromancy from it. And also there is illusion and aberration in the bridge. Though I feel that you may have already known this. It's a possibility. However... As always, Mr. Tiki, your insight is astounding. <laughs> Invaluable. Anytime is what I'm here for. I appreciate your compliment of my skills. He's already <laughs> written seven volumes. <laughs> <laughs> Are we permitted to pass into the forest now? Yep. Yep. You know, you guys knew the password. I don't know how you knew it, but you knew it. <laughs> Just yeah, always seem to. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I'll stump you one of these days. I'm sure you will, Jermaine. <laughs> you have a good day. You too. Have fun in the forest, guys. I'm sure we will. And fun, you all yes. pass into the woods, and immediately, as soon as you're out of the sun, it gets like 20 degrees colder. Um <laughs> It starts to rain a little bit, um, and after a few steps, you hear uh, Jemaine's voice. He he disappears, like goes invisible again. But you would hear his voice call out and says, "Oh yeah, keep an eye out for the walker. I saw that guy wandering around near here." What is, is that? Is that someone we're familiar Jermaine. with? Um, yeah, can you we roll? Two, yeah, you would know that the walker is a particularly Terrible, terrible monster that wanders these woods. It's just a terrible monster. Oh, shit. That, that wanders <laughs> the walkers these, around, damn these it. woods. It's just a horrible... A um, horrible roll creature. me... Don't worry about it. Just like a d20, each of you. Or, yeah, that's fine. Each of us is in all of us? No, or? uh, just... Uh, okay. Kanaz and Nat. Just a, yeah, Kanaz and Nat. Just a ten. Or six. six. Um, you guys have never actually seen the walker. You don't know what it is, but you know that it's supposedly a big, black, smoky monster that walks that the monster. woods. Doesn't usually bother people, but walks the woods. Hmm. Well, if he's around, hopefully we don't meet him. We've been lucky so far. A lot of rumors around this creature. It, people say it can be particularly vicious, but... I don't know anybody personally who's interacted with it. Just many vague rumors. And if Jermaine's seen him recently, we should just keep a wary eye. Stay okay. close. And uh, watch watch your step. The trees in this wood can be... Total bitches. Yeah. Like, Trick on a personal level. Trixie in not mean. the fun, light-hearted way of Jermaine. It's much more malicious. Let's just say I'm, I'm not planning on having any conversations with them today. As the it's trees. getting darker and such, um, I uh, reach into my robe and hand something to Alette. Um, it's like a little round circular thing. And then do that, and then the lantern shows up. It looks like that. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. How long does it last? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Till it runs out. Okay, cool. Can I carry it or do I have to hold yeah, it like this? Okay. It. It's like fully it. totally, like tactile. Like, no. Yeah, you okay. can just hold it. Yeah, definitely. I don't have dark vision, so okay. it's very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also don't have dark vision, I've run so. Oh. So I'll stick near you. Cool. Um, all right, so you head into the woods. Who is blazing the trail? Now yep. you want to take the front and. Yeah. Uh, lead the way. I can... I'll hold up the rear. Yeah, I can Dark Hassan should come with me because he's got those elvish eyes. And we'll stay in the middle since we have the light. We need the light. All right, everybody else kind of begin to stay in the middle there near Mr. Tiki and a light. That sounds and, like a uh, good idea, says Forkus, who is totally like freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right, Forkus. Oh, We've done this many times. Maybe. What? Just stay within, you know, sight, sight of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. don't, don't wander off. Don't wander off, that's yes, right. Don't, don't get distracted by anything shiny or smoky or anything like that. It should be fine. I will go into my robe and pull out something circular 
and put it in his hand and turn it into a lamp. Aww. A lantern. No, we have two lamps. Thanks. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that cheered him up a little bit. He's got the light. He's like, yeah. <laughs> it is powerful. It will protect you. It's magical. <laughs> That's cool. Seems impressed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I lean over to um, Alette and say, it's not magical at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's too bad. He will not protect him. He will die. Uh, so, We're okay. walking Dark Sun and I'm giving her leading. advantage. By all right. So, assisting. roll your survival check. 21. All right. So, the uh, going is quick. You seem to be just skirting around. You see some trees... That you're like, uh huh, I remember that one. We go this way. Oh, yeah, that's the tree that looks like a skull. Oh, oh, yeah, here's the part of the fallen log that smells like rotting flesh. Let's go that way. It's weird. It's a weird log. That's a good landmark. <laughs> um, roll. Um, what's everybody's passive perception checks? 10. 14. 10. 20. 17. All right, so the three of you, that is to be Dark Hassan and Alette and Nat, um, notice that the shadows of some of these trees appear darker than normal. And every once in a while, you spot a face kind of loop out of it and like look at you and then loop back in. A kind of a kind of little little like that kind of face. Mm. Mm. Looks friendly. All right, good. Sometimes it's like ahead of you along the, your route. Sometimes it's behind you. But each time you see one, it feels like they're getting a little bit closer. Seems we're being followed. Um, could I ch- attempt to identify it? Yeah. Nature or just... Tree's always this weird, can I ask? Can I do nature? Yeah, yeah. do nature. This entire wood is always this weird. Ten. No. Um, you know that you've seen these faces before. you Often when traveling through the Farrowwood, there's weird things that follow you through the shadows. It's not uncommon, but it's weird. But they don't attack. I've never been attacked, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> this is also one of the larger groups that we move through. True. Yeah. Just uh, everyone stick together. Do we see all the all the other tiefling friends? Our four friends? Nope. Yeah, nobody's wandering off. Yeah. Two lanterns. Yeah. Yeah, thing. they're all they're still all there. All together? All right, um, good, good. Roll insight checks, three of you who did spot them. No. Twelve. Three. <laughs> Stupid Adrian dice. <laughs> okay. You can pass some dice. Yeah, my dice are real bad. Okay. Um, all right, <laughs> continue to blaze the trail. Blazing the trail. Yep. Walking in what I believe is the correct uh, direction. Yep. Rolling more. Rolling more survival checks at disadvantage. Disadvantage? Really? Right, right. Even with advantage? Doesn't it make well, sense? Well, see, I guess really? at just one die. There you go. Oh. Because Dark Essen is still giving you advantage. Yeah, so it's still taking Oh, I'm at 20. All right, there you go. You realize af- that you like come around and see that weird smelling log again, and you're like, oh, those stupid people are trying to get us off the trail. Not on my watch. You guys, I see him. I don't know what they are, but it's not good. Always an adventure in these woods. What do I know about that? What can I determine? Anything from that? Just that they're trying to... Right. You figured out that they're trying to get you lost. They're trying to Mm. herd you off of the correct path, and they definitely succeeded for a second, but then you figured it out, and you're back Mm. on track. Okay. We did a little loop. We're we're fine. We're fine. I know where we are. I mean, contextually, no. Can I do I an arcana remember. check to determine what's gotten us in this loop? Um, no, you're pretty sure that it's these guys are, like, popping in and out of shadows in a way to, like, sort of herd you. Oh. Hmm. It's like they're going somewhere, and then Nat be like, okay, well, there's a guy over there, let's kind of go around him, and they're doing it in a way to try yeah. to get you lost. If we drop stuff, they'll just take it, like a trail. We could mark the trees. I'm gonna mm-hmm. I just have either. a arrow ready. Okay. I always have my flail. Yeah, I've got my spear as normal, just using like a walking stick. Okay. Everybody roll perception checks. Eleven. Five. Nine. 
Eight. Nineteen. Eight. All right, go back around, sorry. Five. Nineteen. Eleven. Eight. Nine. Okay, so Dirkassen is the only one who is not caught uh, surprised as you all hear a scream of Forkus. Um, Darkhaven's probably like looking right at him. Forkus is just kind of walking and goes right too close to a patch of too dark uh, shadow. And one of these guys jumps out, grabs him, and pulls him into the shadow. No. Fucking Forkus. Oh, yo. Forkus, use your light! And then I'll draw my arrow okay. at it. You hear a scream from pretty close, but farther away in one direction. But you hear, like, you probably actually see the light also. You can see his light, and it's, like, swinging and casting shadows. But it's, like, far away now? But it's far away now. Got you. Oh, wow. Well, we can't this, let our friend die. Has this ever happened oh, to you before? Oh, we absolutely can. What? <laughs> Um, I'm what do I know start, about this kind of magic? I'm going to start I? running towards the swinging light. I will I, draw my acid. weapon. What do I know about the, yeah, what do I know about this kind of magic? Roll an arcana check. Or, they've never experienced anything like this when they've come through before? They're um, 12. The two, tw- the two lanterns you gave out are normal lanterns, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. I mean, you they were conjured, that, but... Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that drop your lantern. Like, okay. the, the two or deep shadows. Down are often portals to the Shadowfell, so you need to stay away from them. So it's not like a magical effect? I mean, it's magical, but it's not like something that was that this person cast. It couldn't be dispelled. It, no. It's an ability uh, that they have yeah. to be able to jump into the shadows. I, as soon as Alette kind of sets her lantern down, I use Thaumaturgy to cause her flame, and is the other one still close enough? It's a range of 30 feet? No. Mm. 19 uh, but I use, I still use it to cause hers to like explode out in a big, you know, fireball. So that we got a big light right. fire. You're lighting the, the forest on fire. It's a very wet forest. It's not gonna. We're not gonna have yeah, a forest fire. You've been right. under a constant drizzle all yeah. day. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're Darkson is off. running off towards. Yep, I'm with him. And well. Mr. Tiki is going as well. All right, so you guys um, arrive to find um, Forkus holding the lantern out, like, swinging it as if to, you know, fend off several of these creatures mm. um, that are, uh, like, hanging, like, half in, half out of shadows of trees nearby, just kind of, like, going like this. Roll perception checks. Fantastic. Uh, while they're all doing that, I'm I staying get, with get everybody others. else, like, kind of bundled together. I get in my bag, pull out a couple torches, light them in the fire, and hand them out so everybody's got some light and some torches. And I got a ten. I was hoping we'd get through without oh. needing to <laughs> get so brash. Um, Are we uh, leaving the lantern here as like a marker? Is that? There we no, go. You, no, you can pick it up. Fork is rolling oh, natural yeah, 20 on his perception check. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lantern. It makes can we sense. see what's going on or only they can see? Uh, if you followed them, then you can see. Oh, uh, I didn't. We're yeah. with the other. Yeah, we're so they, protecting they're not the others. far away there, but it's far enough away that you can't see what's going on. It's through the trees that you can see that there is a light. Okay. Um, can I take a shot at one if I see one? Yeah, you see several of them. You could take a shot. Yeah, I'm just going to instinctively shoot at one. Goes wide. There's no way that hits. When Kanaz did that, I'll also produce flame. One of them, like, that you aimed at, like, ducks into the shadows and, like, appears in another shadow that's, like, closer to you and is like, it's coming. And then Forkus, with the light, shines it right at something and goes, what is that? And you guys see a weird, uh, gauntly humanoid something kind of just like stumble walking slowly through the trees and it's got six big arms that come down to big points it looks like that (laughs) (laughs) and it's looking around it says Uh, go ahead Forkis get behind us please you're not going to want to be in the line of this. Did we hear that? Did we hear it? Yeah, you would probably hear that that sorrowful um, call. How familiar are, are okay. Nat and I with that particular... Uh, roll an intelligence check. Seven. Nineteen. <laughs> you've heard... You've seen a lot of weird, creepy monsters, like all four of these in this picture, wandering the woods all of the time. 
And that's a kind of weird, sorrowful call that they make. So you know, but you don't, you've never encountered one necessarily. Some of them, so, um, yeah, you've never really encountered one and would know like how difficult they would be to fight. But you have heard that call from the darkness a number of times. Could I also, yeah. um, so a quick action, I'm going to go into my little satchel and pull up the vial of like black gooey stuff that's kind of writhing and I throw it at it towards it. Um, it bursts and shatters, and the ground around it begins to have, like, sticky goo around it as well. And so that basically becomes difficult terrain for one minute, and any creature that starts its turn in that area has its uh, speed halved for okay. that turn. All right. Should we run to them? Meanwhile, I suggest we unsplit up. Yeah. Let's each uh, grab a tiefling and uh, I use Thaumaturgy again, because uh, I have it as a cantrip. Right. Uh, to use... This time I'll make it so my voice booms three times louder than normal. Darkasan, Tiki, get Forkus back to the group. Forkus, kind of in a shaking voice, say, says, is, this, is, that, is that the walker? And the, the little creatures in the shadows giggle and, and cackle, but not like in the same way they were before, where there was like an excited cackling. This is more of a like, no stupid kind of laugh. <laughs> like, oh, you think that's the walker? <laughs> and then the creature at the, like, splash of the goo at, at its feet, like, is confused and, like, starts to walk away, like, through it, but is, like, crawling away and, like, just seems lost and confused until... Unless you guys want to do something. Mm -hmm. I'm coming Come towards back them. back to us. Okay. I'll, I'll be, I'll be moving back, yeah, with Florida. So we're meeting back. in the middle? Okay. Is that what's happening? Um, the two groups are meeting in the middle? Well, I think we'd stay by the big fire I just made with the oh, lantern. Oh, that's a good point. And... Yeah. Well, Nat, you want to go collect our wayward flock? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they, they, they <laughs> see I go the... alone. Well, like, I mean, well, they're, they're like close, 50 feet right? away, yeah, right? Like... I would get out my crossbow, I'm, I'm which I also have. I'm collecting them, and I hopefully without incident DM. <laughs> I, I assume Nat and I are smart enough that if they're far enough away, she's not going to go wandering in. Like, sure, I can still right, hear you, so that's, that's good. And then right. I'm like, please come back. All right. Please, everyone, come back. <laughs> so you arrive at the group of people, and you're like, yeah, let's go, let's go. And you start to walk away, and you see kind of, you hear kind of sort of a sad, kind of mumbling from the creatures in the shadows. Um, and then you hear a creaking of uh, wood crack, and the earth sort of rumbles as the uh, shadowy leg from above just, like, steps into the clearing near the, the weird creature as it just continues to wander, confused and lost, and a shadowy, clawed hand reaches down, picks it up, and pulls it up into the canopy. All right, well, Mama Bear's here, so we need to go. Does everyone go? Yeah, I Does everyone go? The walk. This might be a little too much. Um, do and I then, think and then it's the, like, us? sad, like, mummerings from the, uh, the creatures in the shadows sort of, like, change pitch to an excited, like, all right, it's going to eat something. And you hear just like a crunch and a break of bone as the thing above gets devoured by, you would probably see like that. Okay. Mm. Well, I was wrong. It's not mama bear. Okay. That's not the situation we're in. Yes. Um, do I think it has seen us? You don't know. Okay. I mm. utter... Uh, you do speak Undercommon, though? Oh, is it speaking in Undercommon? You do speak I that. do speak Undercommon. Um, so you would maybe hear in the whispers and giggles of the creatures that they're sort of almost chanting, Walker! 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 Yeah, this is the, this is the Walker, you guys. I, I will, like, hush. So who's with me? Darkasan, Mr. Tiki... And, and Forkus. 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 I'll... Uh, I'll I'll snap my fingers and say hush, and cast pass without a trace. So for the duration of the spell, which is a concentration up to an hour, we all get plus ten on our stealth checks. We cannot be tracked except by magical means. All right. So roll we your stealth checks this. if that's what you're that's going what, to do. Yes, mm -hmm. That's what we're sneaking away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're sneaking away. All right. Alette, Trow, make sure to be ready to move once once they get back. We need to. We'll need to be still on. What Strax and. You get plus one? Plus ten. Plus ten, yeah. ten and then I'm got, I'm your dex. I'm watching with my crossbow. You're waiting for them to come back. Shoot anyone that's following them. Uh, so to you, with the big bonfire that you've created almost, Trell says, I, I don't know if it will be a, if whatever is over there will be attracted by the light or repelled. Should we douse the flame? We'll leave it behind us as we go. 
Okay. That way they can see us, then find us on the trail. Good move. So with my stealth check, do I still get to add? You roll whatever you get, and plus your bonuses, plus a 10, right? Yeah, plus a 10. That's oh, a spell. good. 17. <laughs> Oh my god! Wow, you son of a bitch. That's really good. <laughs> on a one. So right. it, was, it was a nat one, so I don't know if you want to roll that differently. Fucking hell. <laughs> so you sneak off um, and find the rest of the group near, near enough the to their fire you. that yeah, yeah. you can see them, and that as soon as they see you coming, that they continue off into the right. lights, away from the light. Uh, good at how's Forkus seeming right now? He's kind of like... Like, he, I don't remember what color I, I said he was before, if he was, like, a, a purple or a, or a red or whatever. Trail what, is, whatever color I said he Trail was is, is just, like, pale red. Oh, Forkus red. is so red. So his, like, his skin is almost just, like, pink. The yeah. blood has been drained from it so much that he's just, And he's, like, shaking the light that he's holding, is casting, like, shaking shadows as this. Right. Um, oh, man, somebody take that from him, please. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I take the lantern. Can I make it back? Uh, and okay, I, he's like, I walk he's over like to white him. knuckles. I walk like, over holding to him, like, hey, to the lantern. Forkus, you I, have to like pry it out of his fingers. So I come over to him and I, and I kind of yeah grab like where he's holding the lantern. So like we're kind of both holding it. And I put my other hand like on his shoulder. And as I touch him, I cast heroism uh, on nice. him. So he is imbued with bravery uh, for the next minute. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's good enough that's to get him through. Yeah, yeah. no. The They're, color like, like immediately comes back to his face. The light comes back to his eyes. Like, he he releases on the lantern and lets you. And then I, I hand him my war hammer. I got a small war hammer yeah, I pull right. out. He's, nice he's feeling a lot better now. All right. All right. We need to go. We need to go. Oh, we're still uh, passing another chase, and we can do so for an hour, but if we want to do something else, Does or if I have include, to cast something else. Does that include Alette and Trell and Knaz, or I just I think so. So it says a veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions mm-hmm. from detection. It doesn't so say I have to her select. As she goes. Okay, right. yeah, so as it you join up with me. them, they're... They right. 30 feet. Uh, uh, I make sure we leave the two lanterns behind with the little bonfire, and as we... Like, as, as it gets to the... 30 feet behind us, like right as it's getting out of the range, I do Thaumaturgy again to make it flare okay. again behind us. Um, okay. Everybody also... Do the rest of us need to roll stealth checks? Make constitution saves. Ah, oh, damn it. 13. Also 13. Burn all of these dice. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, both of you? Oh, no. <laughs> Six. They both rolled in the Yeah, they did. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Tiki and Darkest Son are not going to have a good time. Oh, yeah. No, they are not. I got two. I didn't take any as well. healing spells nice. or anything. Jeez. All right, today. so who, who, who beat a 10? <laughs> Me and Alette. What Alette did you guys get? No, you did too. A 13. Do you have a negative to your constitution? I rolled a 4. I thought you rolled an 11. No, I bumped it when oh. I was picking my dice back. I'm saying I'm going to burn this stupid die. Oh. Okay. Alette and I rolled 13. Cool. Okay. So... As you are um, proceeding away from the light and the thaumaturgy makes it blaze, like, almost as if in reaction to that, a darkness, like, collapses on all of you and the light goes out and everybody takes uh, 12 points of negative energy damage. Wait, but not us? Yes, even you guys. What? You said we got above a, a 10. I want to see if anybody <laughs> did it even better than a 10. 13 didn't save either, but... Sad. That was rough. I do not... Okay. Who of us looks the worst off? I mean, all of the... Everyone the took 12. Yeah. Don't look good. I don't think it matters. All right. There's no... uh, it's sort of... Um... Who is the frailest amongst us? Put it or, down yeah, we're the, the three the, tieflings. The three yeah, because they yeah. probably don't have right. armor, even uh, if they do weapons. I just immediately then cast aid uh, on them. Uh, I can choose three creatures, so it's that those three. Their hit point max and current hit points go up by five, and it bolsters them with toughness and resolve. Okay. Nice. So they they Burn through some spell slots. You all, I mean, yeah. it's I said negative energy, but I forgot it's necrotic energy in this edition. So you, that necrotic energy kind of it's not like a, a damage to yourself; it's a damage to your soul, and you all like feel sad. Um, Where? And then when you cast that to heal them, at least the three of them are kind of like, pick up their spirits. Dude, this sucks. Yeah. Um, I'll touch Trell and restore ten points. All right. We're still sneaking, right? Is that the and the duration of that, by the way, is eight hours. So for the next eight hours, they're hit points and maximum are up five. Nice. 
I'm going to go into my robe again and okay. uh, pull out four circular That's things and give one to each of you. And Potion of Healings come into your hands. Thank you. Oh, excellent. Yes. I will let you all know that my soul is still sad, but I feel that you guys should be happier. Uh-huh. I'll drink this. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Cheek. Did they come out of like Makes a vending slot? Makes a difference. Are, are Rope of useful his, items. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> these, these actually, like, once, once they they're there, they're going to go away after a certain just time. Like, Correct. How right, much I just kind of tuck mine into my belt. How much does it uh, restore? Potion of healing? Yeah, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Plus two. So you're only an 8. <sighs> Alright. And you continue traveling. And we continue. And it seems that the uh, little creatures in the darkness leave you behind. They were Thank hoping goodness. to sacrifice one of you to the to the walker. We are certainly no longer passing without a trace as that required concentration. So. But you think you've used it to get far enough away that you're... Is it there a the check though about whether or not you lose? Yeah, you don't just I lose think it if you fail a save, you lose No, it's you take... Um, it's you make a constitution save against the amount of damage you took, or yeah. 10, whichever is higher, or something so like that. So I took 12 damage. So you have to be a 12. So I have to be a 12. Roll. But I add my constitution modifier? Yeah. I do beat a 12. There you go. I'm still passing. Cool. Yeah, and so we're still, we're still sneaky sneaks. Yeah. Sneaks. Alright, uh, another survival as we move forward. We continue to oh, sneaky DC walk. 10, or half the damage, whichever is higher. So you still oh, succeed. Right. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought if you failed any save that it, you were unconcentrated. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, That's I nice. think that might have been an older thing. That might have been. Yeah. Or if you took any damage, you mm-hmm. were unconcentrated in 3.5. Is that true? I don't... Oh. No, you, I had, don't you had to it. make if a concentration you check. Had to make it, it. Yeah. it was a skill check at the, in okay. 3.5. Okay. So, you continue on the way. Make your survival checks to continue blazing the trail. Am I at advantage? Yes. 15. You're able to navigate through the woods uh, successfully for the rest of the day. You don't make it to the town. You're like, I don't know, the forest is longer today, whatever. But you didn't. You don't get attacked or disappear into negative energy plane or the shadow fell. So that's a success. Woohoo! And you make a camp, I guess. Is it safe to sleep here? <laughs> Depends on how much you like nightmares. <laughs> Yeah. It's not ideal. Uh, it's yeah, we we were expecting to probably spend at least one night here, but yeah, it's it's not great. Uh it you're not going to have a easy rest. Yay. Just do not worry, I will do as best you can. Stay vigilant and watch over you. I'm sure you don't need to sleep. Nice. Yeah. Same watches as before? Sure. Yep. I'll take first. Fourteen perception. All right, Turn, your watch passes without incident. How does he make that sound so intimidating? Ominous, yeah. Like, <laughs> ominous. Like you clearly yeah. missed something, without and it's going to bite you in the asshole later. <laughs> yep. Ganaz, much practice. May I ask you a question? Uh, yes, Mister Tiki. Mm. Based on your expression, are you male? Yes. Interesting. Yes, I, I am <laughs> Does that mean that you and you and Nat plan to procreate at some point? No, I I do not believe that is in the cards. Why is not? Why is that? Is that <laughs> not, not a thing that you do? Uh, you are male, and she is informing that she is female. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but we're old friends, and we. We have other priorities. Hmm. My friend Puck used to say that old friends make the best lovers. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Mr. T uh, backstory. <laughs> maybe maybe that was true for Puck. Uh for me I like to keep my friendships uncomplicated. Interesting. Thank you. I will process this concept of the two of you not having sexual relations <laughs> as male and female. We we even have a word for it. It's Do called you? platonic. Platonic, yes. Friendship. Yes. Yes, friendship rarely involves sexual relationships. Very well. 
Though I suppose there's still time. Things could change. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mr. Tiggy's shipping you guys real hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, anyway, she, she is a lovely girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow, two words I would not ascribe to myself. <laughs> lovely <you>. or girl. <laughs> you uh, clearly still have a lot to learn about people. Mm, okay, if you say so. <laughs> Roger around, Mr. T. <laughs> Anytime. Here to rescue tieflings where I can. <laughs> Especially from themselves. <laughs> oh. Foreshadowing! <laughs> <laughs> See, and if it turns out that Mr. Tiki is right, that'll be the best foreshadowing whisper ever. <laughs> or you can just cut it out and no one will know. Alright, who takes next watch? Darkest Darkest. Huh? That is a 20. Dirty 20, but it's 20. Why is it dirty? Because it wasn't natural. All natural. Oh. An unnatural 20. All right, your watch passes without incident. Dark hmm. Aston, may I ask you a question? Uh, yes. Are you antagonizing our fellows? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Okay. I would never do such a thing. Um... <laughs> Don't you think that Kanaz and Nat would make a good couple? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't really have that... Um, they don't seem to have those affairs about them. But, but one is male and one is female, is that, that not? Doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. Are there, they not, there, are they not... there are plenty of people out there who may even... One might find the other one to be a delight, but the other one doesn't care for the other at all. Like, just because one is male and one is female doesn't mean it's always going to work out. Interesting. But they spend so much time together, they must get lonely. I mean, maybe there are secrets they're not telling us. True. Maybe they don't remember, you know? Some drinks too much, you know? <laughs> Hmm. This is interesting point. I suppose everyone cannot be with everyone. They're just also they're, male, they're also really young. They're like what, less than thirty? Yeah, but don't aren't they fertile already? <laughs> I mean, I imagine baby so. tieflings. <laughs> I've never seen a baby tiefling actually. You know that? <laughs> I've seen like kid ones, but I've never actually seen a baby one. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll have a chance. Do you think they have some legs? <laughs> Nine months from now. This would be a, a great experiment to see. Mm. Experiment. You know, it could be that maybe one of them likes the others around here. There's, I mean, Trell's a pretty strapping fellow. Disagree. Oh, good point. <laughs> Wait, do you think that they might like you? Could be, but I don't know. I'm, I I feel I'm a little off-putting to them. Really? Hmm. I don't know, that badger head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always forget about the badger head loincloth. Why is it not part of my mental model of Darkasan? Oh, I can change my thinking. Because it's deeply, deeply disturbing. <laughs> I block out every session. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure. Pretty sure they find me unsettling. Very well. Some way, you know. I, th I think uh, humans feel that way about elves in general. That's right. Well, humans will sleep with anything, so Alette will have no problem doing something with the two. It could, it could, it could be true. Yes, you have no idea, right? Mm -hmm. Genetically, though, She's... I've seen more humans spread their seeds than I have any other race spread with any other races. Uh, yeah, humans. I think they have. A lot of passion in their short little lives. Mm, that makes sense. Very well. I will explore this more to myself. Thank you. <laughs> Can't wait to read this one. <laughs> Alright, so whose watch is next? Oh, God. Me. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. 
roll a fucking 30 and something amazing I, happens that I, I go and incapacitates tap Mr. Tiki. <laughs> I go and tap your shoulder to wake you up. Uh-huh. And I say, you'll need to work on making little leaf clothing items. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll what just chuckle that? and go to... No, go what to does my that channel. mean? <laughs> you, should you, ask, you should ask Mr. Tiki. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. Hey, hey, Tiki. Good. I'm here for my, my watch. For which I rolled a natural 20. Crushed it. Um, during your watch, you do spot um, more of those little uh, people in the shadows. Okay. But they, like, see you, see them, and they, like, they know that you know that they know, and then they go away. Got it. Got it. I know they know. We know. They know. I know. All right. Well, that was a great watch. End of watch. Perfect. <laughs> wonderful. Now, before you go to bed, I... Hey, what's up, Teak? Let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. What is your feeling on friendship, love, and sex? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's... Uh, let's break it down. Okay. Let's go one... one Maybe one part at a time, maybe? Certainly. Yeah. So my, my friendship... But they, they can mingle all together, yes? Yeah. I mean, ideally, somebody that you love that in a would romantic way... Would be an way. old friend, yes? Oh, I'm sorry? Like a, a friend that could also be a person you love, yes? Sure, absolutely. Mm, but there okay. are lots of different types of love, right? You've got your uh, you've got your romantic love where you want to be with that person, like, you know, have children and live together. Mm. And then you've got your friendship love that's like, you know, a friend really close that you, like, tell anything to. It's friendship mm. love. There's are like... The way you love your children is different. The way you love your parents. Lots of lots of different loves for the humanoids. Oh, okay. Lots of different ways to love. Fantastic. And then yeah. what about sex? Sex. Also lots of different ways to, to sex. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, different people have different preferences. In general, uh, you know, it's it's for procreation. It's also mm-hmm, for pleasure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's, there's other reasons to have sex, you know, like revenge, maybe, or... Extreme drunkenness, but in general, mm-hmm. we're gonna say mostly, mostly love and uh, and then having the babies. Yeah. Very well. Is that yes. Clarify? And why do you have sex? Oh, well, not to have babies. Okay, for the fun. For the fun. For the fun. And it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the fun. for the fun of it. Um, most most people of many different species. Mm-hmm. This goes for some animals as well. Uh, have sex to bond. You know, like, strengthen a relationship. It's a good feeling to bond. I feel that you and Kanats have a very strong bond. Is that how you bonded? It's <laughs> not how we... No. It's who have you been... Is that with darkness? Okay. Um, <laughs> no. 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 Uh, Kanats and I are not on that wavelength, so to speak. Not with the sex in us. Ah. We're bros. We're bros. Like, me and you were bros. You know? Yeah. Bros. Like, and you don't have parts... Like, and he doesn't have parts I'm interested in. It's like, we're bros. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're not interested. I'm not. And I don't think he is either. I don't get the sense. I can usually tell. Okay. Yeah, a girl can tell. All right. Oh, that, that, that other sense that you guys have, right? A sixth one or something? No, the sex sense. Yeah. Oh, the sex sense. <laughs> I have not developed that sense yet. It's uh, exactly. It might be toughy for you, but keep working at it. I will. I appreciate this conversation. I've learned a lot. Great. Good. Good deal, Mr. T. Good night. Good night. Or morning. Bye now. <laughs> All right. So who takes the last watch? I'm by myself. Tiki by himself. Thinking about sex and friends and love. <laughs> mm. That'll be a ten. Not distracted, a distracted at all. <laughs> 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 Nothing like a robot trying to understand the sex. <laughs> yup. Okay. So everybody successfully. Sleeps through the night, berated by stressful dreams of darkness and tree branches kind of growing on you and around you, um, but otherwise are fine. I, I walk over to a light in the morning and say, you are lucky to have so many options, and I walk away. <laughs> Thanks. I agree. Options are important in all things. But too many options can cause trouble. No such thing. So then, um, so you wake and the sort of oppressive, or not oppressive, but the showers that sort of pervaded um, the, the day before 
uh, you awake to find that that sort of constant drizzle has intensified into a much more heavy rain uh, that makes it really difficult to see in in the forest even. Um, and the morning mist is kind of red and angry. So maybe everybody make constitution saves. Oh, good. Barrow wood is fun for all. 16. No, 14. 9. 7. 8. 6. All right. So the red angry morning mist saps... 10 necrotic damage out of Mr. Tiki, Darkassen, Alet, and Nat. I don't but feel not so Kinez. great. It is a... Kinez, you feeling okay? I don't feel so good. I mean, there was a tree root in my back. But oh my God. Right, so. Feeling alright? Fine. <laughs> you... In, 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 well, uh, sure, I'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. How, I how, like I'm... How did the how did the uh Tieflings were escorting scene? Trell is fine and uh, Forcus is fine. Shax and Philia don't look like they're doing too well. The the mist, the red mist is not playing well with them either. Um but as the uh what sun that penetrates the leaves sort of rises and the day progresses, the angry red mist sort of burns off and it's just an oppressive downpour. So, um, blaze your trail, whoever's doing that. Yes, I will blaze, I will blaze the trail. Okay. Darkest you get you bag me advantage up? from Darkest Yeah, I'll blaze that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> blaze disadvantage. But it is at uh, but disadvantage high, so because disadvantage. of the rain. <laughs> so, so just regular roll. 25. Regular roll. Okay, so yeah, you're fine. Regular roll, regular roll. <laughs> but you slog through the uh, the mud and uh, muck and rain for several hours, but you, you're you pretty sure you're on the right track. All right, so we're trudging along. Trudging yep, so you trudge, 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 you trudge, and maybe everybody roll me some perception checks. Oh, that 15. one. 17. 17. That one. So that's a 4. 23. What did everybody else get? I only heard those two. 4. 17. 17. Okay, so Nat and Mr. Tiki and Shax and Flya, especially Nat, you're like, yes, we have there, I see the light in the distance. We're almost at the town. And she leads you off to follow the light. Oh no. And hey, you guys, I see a light. It's the town. Oh, perfect. Yeah, let's go. But I look forward to this town. What do the other ones of us think? We don't see anything? No, you can't quite make it out in the rain, in the trees, but... Did you roll that two-bomb? No, I got a 23. Isn't he right up front with her? Yeah. Okay. I'm curious to see how you guys survive in these woods. It's been brutal nights and mornings. While we're while Mr. Tiki and I are walking, um, I pat his shoulder, and I heal him seven points. Oh. There you go, buddy. Thank you, platonic friend. <laughs> Paying off already. Great. It's great. <coughs> After ten minutes or so of heading towards the light of the town. You all realize you should have reached that light, and it's not really getting any closer. Are we going the right way? Yeah, I'm sure. Look, we can see the town. Especially the three of you who cannot yeah. see the town. <laughs> you guys don't see it? No. Can I? Do you see it? There's a light right there. I kind of come up from behind, look out ahead. What? Do Do we know, uh, Nat and Kanaz, know about potentially misleading lights? Yeah. As I come up to the front, do I recognize this as a potentially misleading light? Yeah, so you see the lights that, um, once like Nat points it out to you, everybody can see the lights, and you definitely recognize it from experience, and probably even uh, Darkassen as uh, will-o'-wisps, kind of right. just like blinking around in the trees, trying to get you to go that way. Nat, are you, uh, are you feeling all right? 
No, I feel like total shit. I told you that. That's a fair point. <laughs> well, you asked me how I felt, and I had yeah, you other on things on my mind. Yeah, I, yeah sorry. <laughs> it was a really bad knot in my back. Poor you. Uh, Plus you, all that weird shit that Mr. Tiki asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot on my mind. <laughs> you too. Yeah. You, you definitely uh, are... Th- those are those are Will of the Wisps. Would I recognize them upon second look? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Good call, friend. Good, good call. Sorry, guys. So right. you stop and turn around and head back the way you come, or head came. Um, but looking around you now, you discover yourselves in some sort of graveyard. Mm. And it wasn't a graveyard before? No, you you didn't really notice until you stop and look around. You're like, oh, no, we're totally in the wrong place. I definitely don't. This is not the town's graveyard. This is some weird other graveyard. Why are we in this weird other graveyard? Are the headstones stone? Are they like... Gonna go touch them? No, no, no. Look. <laughs> Looking at the headstones. They look like stone. They look like headstones. Can, yeah. Can we um, read anything? Or are they like rotted out? Like... Yeah, if you want to get down and look mm. at them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they definitely have names and dates on them and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're I, kind I of overgrown one. with vines and stuff as well. Uh, who's, I think it's Nat and Tarkassin and Alette that have high uh, passive. passive perceptions. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the three of you do spot nearby the graveyard a gallows with a, a body swinging in the, in the storm. Like a relatively fresh body? Uh, Not like a skeleton. Not a skeleton. I investigate. Graveyard, and yet no one's buried this I do not touch the body, but I'm going to go investigate it. Ten. What can I tell about it? You can tell that um, it's almost like the rain shimmers on it as if it were metal, and it's got a, a cloak, a hood up over it that's like a blue cloak as you approach does Mr. T wear a blue coat? Yeah. Okay. Who? <laughs> so T about that detect coat. magic ritual that you can do? Yes. Now might be a good time. Okay. I very think well. we're seeing some bad Where stuff. I plop down and start my ritual. I try to read one of the headstones without touching it. Like I find the one that yeah. has the least amount of ivy on it or whatever. It says, um, Mr. Tiki. Yeah. Oh. This is bad. This is bad news. And it's got some. The, it's Darkest got like time. a, 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 bir- a birth date mention. that's like years hundreds ago. of years ago, and you're like, what? And the death date is like hundreds of years from now. Darkest Sun, come mm. over here. Check this out. This is quite weird. I try to read okay. another one. Does it seem like illusory magic? I don't know. I'm not magic. Yeah, I mean, I think Tiki's it is. over there doing his ritual. Oh, maybe we'll get more answers on this. I try to go read another one. It's the same thing. Okay. Well, I didn't know if they were all of us or if they were like just no. Mr. Tiki. Okay. So, right. what Mr. Tiki knows nothing about the graveyards or the person yep. swinging. I just know that I am doing a ritual for my yep. platonic friend. <laughs> so, did you like, like go up brown. onto the, the gallows to look at it? Uh, yeah, I guess I would have had to step up onto. Okay. So as it sort of creaks in, in the wind and turns, like its face faces you, and you can definitely see that it's Mr. Tiki's face. Yeah, that's super not great. And then just the, the lights that are in his eyes, like sort of light up in its eyes, and then it all just sort of like melts away into the rain and is gone. Has it been ten minutes yet? You got that ritual done yet, you I, guys? Melting body. Or, 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 or we Mel- should body just maybe in. just go. Fake just, body did, the, just... did the gravestones melt away too? No. Okay. Um, but then. Yeah. Just bro, but wait, there's we more. We notice. But should, then. should not have stayed for yeah. ten minutes. <laughs> you notice the uh, the vines that are pretty much overgrown everywhere, uh, all over the gallows and the gravestones and everything are creeping towards you. We should leave. Let's leave now. Specifically you, because you're up on the gallows. Okay. Oh, okay. Do we all notice or only... No, no, this uh, is just Nat, because okay. she's the only one that's up there. I'm getting out of here. Uh, okay. I, I whisper under my breath and disappear into the foggy, rainy air and reappear as 
far as possible away from those gallows, which is 30 feet. Okay, so roll me an initiative check first before you do that. Sure, yeah. Nice. What's that? Just Just initiative. Dex? Plus, uh, no. Whatever your initiative bonus is. Yeah, okay, 13. Which I think is just What? Dex. Yeah, it's 20. Just That's a 12, baby. Oh, that was 17. Uh, plus, I only have one so 15. Uh, Dex. No, I only have plus one Dex. Oh. Dex. Yeah, I'm on wisdom. I'm a wisdom build. Yeah, I rolled a 13. Okay. So you see, um, right before you misty step away, right? That's what you used. Yeah. Um, that some of those tendrils of vine sort of reach out to try and attack you, but you proof away before they can. Okay. Did I see your misty step? Yes, she probably appears. I'm yelling now. I'm like, guys, right, angry vines. Let's, Take it let's off. Go. Find and, the edge of the graveyard. Yep. Now roll initiative, and we can come back to this. Am I sticking right. with my roll? Yes. Okay. I got a 15. 14. 20. Right. 10. So I got a 15. And then we'll shuffle them accordingly. I think. Uh, well, wherever. Yeah. Depending on we know. We just know it was lower than 13, so yeah. it could be before. But he yeah. might be willing with other sure. creatures. That's Well, I don't think it's for the vines. So what you all see, Nat, before you teleport away... Is the those vines crawling up from underneath the gallows, trying to, to grab at you and swipe at you, and coming along with the the faux Mister Tiki that sort of melted away into the rain, and definitely emanating from these uh, vines is just the rancid scent of death and decay. Mm. And then it you teleport away, and you can all see this giant viney thing. Oh, are those pustules on top? Some yeah. sort of something. Oh. Yeah, I, I that do That crawls think it up from somewhere. underneath the gallows and gets up on top, and sort of at that signal, uh, three of the graves break open and some zombies crawl out. Oh, Mr. Shit. Tiki Zombies? Now roll initiative. All right, we've done that part. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, Dark Hassan, you get to go first. Um, I'm going to start by casting Mage Armor on myself. Good move. And then I'm gonna move with a bonus action into my blade song, and this is an enemy. Yep. Well, I can't move and attack him, huh? Correct. I am going to. I'm gonna move here. Which ones are the zombies? These three, like in the middle, kind of. <clears throat> yeah, the three that's cut, kind of cut our party in half. And then a big one at the end. Yep, and mm-hmm. that's my turn. Da, da, da. Fantastic. Let's get Tar- Darkest Song was by me because we were looking at the headstones bum, together. Bum. Mr. Tiki. All right. Um, too far. All right. Well, I guess the best thing to do is gang up on one. So I'm moving here. And I'll take up my hand axe. And Mr. Tiki will viciously attempt to attack this zombie. Let's up. Uh, it's gonna be a 15 to hit. Uh, that's a hit, probably. They're zombies. Yeah. It's gonna be, uh, three damage, slashing. Alright. You lop its head off. And it tumbles to the ground. Alright. That was easy. (laughs) Bad news, bad news. (laughs) Um, Alette. I guess I'll turn around and fight this one then, since that other one's already dead. Mwahahaha. <laughs> They're all already <laughs> dead. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> okay. First, one strike with the flail. Quack. Nine. Probably doesn't hit. Uh, that hits it. What? They're zombies. Oh, well, I don't know. They don't. They're, They're smart enough to even try to dodge. That's five piercing damage. Okay. Then you like cave in its chest cavity, and it just like, like somehow manages to straighten its spine and keep standing. I get more hits. Yep. Okay. <laughs> On my second hit with my scimitar, seventeen to hit, and seven damage, also piercing. Okay. And I get one more. Okay. You lop off one of its arms, and it's like, <laughs> except it's got a stump, and it's like, come on. <laughs> 
Good thing we're not live streaming this. <laughs> oh, I wish we were. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty great. Okay, right. then I get my extra attack, just the flail again, and I think I hit with a 21, and 8 damage. Okay. Did I kill it all by myself? Yep. Yay! You just, like, pound it into the ground, and this time it does not get back up. And stay down! Hokey dokey. You have to work on your one liners later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that one was perfect. It was pretty good, I admit. Um, Alright, what is this creature Quality. that I see in front of me? What can I tell about it? I don't know, roll a play. nature check. <laughs> Seven. Looks like a big, giant mass of flowers and vines. That smells like rotting flesh. It's great. Um, you, you ever been to the Botanic Gardens? The, the corpse the, flower? The corpse flower, yeah. Yes, this is literally called corpse flower. Oh, all right. Hmm. So it smells like that. Well, I'm but not going to... But, but it's also some kind of horrible... All right. I'm not going to worry about the other zombie at this <laughs> moment. Uh, instead, I'm going to uh, raise my hands and bellow a sound like thunder and it has to oh i have to get closer to it don't i well it's probably not a great idea then <laughs> oh no originating from me why is it like that all right <laughs> i'm gonna run away <laughs> uh, go to the other zombie yeah i'm gonna try to kill the zombie i'm just getting behind no he's over there though so yeah. oh do you have a ranged attack no. Yeah. No, you're I'm, fine. Yeah, Wait. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm this is also a zombie? This is dark as No, I'm getting behind him from the thing. Oh. See, I'm going to get him behind him from the horrible monster flower. Okay, got it. And I'm going to just shoot fire at this guy. I will produce flame. Um, I will produce flame, and it has a range of 30 feet. So That's fine. And then it's um, plus six to hit, right? Ten. You hit. I hit. Uh, 1d8 fire damage. Pew, pew. You don't want to roll that. No, I'm rolling for other things. Oh, okay. Six, six fire damage. Okay. It's on fire now. Fire! I heard they but don't like that. But doesn't seem to care. It's <laughs> just on fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no, but it's undead. Alright, well. Hopefully it cares next turn. <laughs> right at the start of its turn, I think. Yeah, yeah I think it's a little bit more on Bernie. Uh, hmm. um, actually, considering the, the downpour you're under, the fire quickly goes out. Oh, I didn't think about that. I was not aware of my surroundings. <laughs> Badger it. I will. I got 30 speeds, so it looks like 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. So I would like to go up and be on stage left, my left, of the big vine beast. That would okay. be house left? House left. I don't actually know what stage left means. It means if you're on the stage and looking out at the audience, it's uh, your left. So, we'll so stage right. Yeah, so. Uh, as I run over there, I am yeah, going to... Because that platform is like 10 feet up on the ground. Okay. Or, something. or not 10, but 5. Fair enough. Uh, as I move over there, I'm going to, as a bonus action, cast Hunter's Mark on said Vine Beast. Okay. It doesn't get any save on that. That's just for you. Yeah, okay. that's just for me. Uh, then I am going to smack it with my axe a couple times. Because axes are good for chopping down leafy things. <laughs> you need to think. All right. Uh... 17 plus... Uh, that is a 23 to hit. You hit. And... Yeah. A giant, roiling mass of vines. Kind of <laughs> hard to miss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Except when it's hiding underneath the gallows. Then you don't look there. Yeah, and so I'm gonna... Wow. Yeah, so I'm bringing my, bringing my axe <laughs> down here, and I do... 10... 12, 15 damage nice. with that attack. Then I follow through and bring it back around for another chop. And that is going to be a 20 to hit. Yep. 
And that will do 11, 14 more damage. Nice. Nice. It's you chop off several of its vines and it kind of recoils at the sight of or sight of your axe. It's like ah, uh, but then it overcomes that and goes Whoo-cha! and hits you with several vines. So let's find out if they hit you. That's a crit and a twenty and a twenty-one. Those ah! all three hit. So yep. So the crit will do... I know how bad this is. <laughs> a crit and two hits. Yeah, that was a, yeah. just a really good roll. <laughs> so 16 bludgeoning damage from the crit as one of those uh, vines just comes streaking out like a fist and clocks you right in the face and take a constitution saving throw. Nine, 11. Okay. And then you also take 13 poison damage. That's not good. And then the other two uh, vines that hit you, uh, so two more constitution saves, do... Well, I'll let you... Uh, that is a 20 and a 17. Okay. So you take 9 from the first womp and are able to shrug off the poison, and 7 from the second womp and know how to deal with this poison now. How Ooh. many at the 7? Seven? 7. 9 and 7. And I didn't remember what I told you for the other ones. 15 and 13. 15, 13, 9, and 7. Uh, yeah, so 9, 7, 13, 29. And how much was the last one? 7? Seven? 7. So I have you at one hit point, but I don't know where you were from the uh, uh, mist this morning. I didn't take any from the mist. That's right. You did 44 damage? I mean, 15 and 13 and 9 and 7. That makes 20, 30, 44. You are correct. Took me a second to catch up. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm hurt real bad. <sighs> and then just for fun, one of the, the buds on top starts to like pulsate and it spews out another zombie. Oh, they are pustules. And it attacks you. Uh well so first <laughs> uh as now the, the I'm gonna cast Hellish Rebuke as a reaction. Mm, smart man to the uh <laughs> the big plant uh Getting me, uh, and so that is going to be 14 fire damage. Dex save for half. Nope. It's a giant flower <laughs> thing. It just sits there and takes it. How much was it? 14. 14. Uh, very dexterous, huh? I'm shocked. It, yeah. Again, recoils with sort of an ee kind of sound. <clears throat> But then that zombie attacks you and misses terribly. Cool. <laughs> um, so that was fun for it. <laughs> Glad it has joined itself. Oh no, the other zombie. Yeah. Arg. Charging. Attacks Darkassen and misses. All right, Darkassen, your turn. Um, Kill it. Is the flame effect still on the no. corpse flower? It's already faded off. Yep. Okay. It's this one was on steam. fire. Did it take any damage? No, it, it, no, it the went fire out went out from the rain. The... Oh, right. You oh, said that's not usually like weather. Mint weather. Um, I am going to attack the zombie in front of me, and I'm going to put green flame blade on my attack roll. That's a 18 to hit. You hit. It doubts... 13 damage, 8 of that fire. Alright. It's on fire again. And, like, stumbling around like it can't see anything because it's covered in fire, but it soon is Um, extinguished and appears to be fine. As a bonus action, I'm going to disengage. You're not going to kill it? I can't take a second attack. 
Um, so my disengagement, I'm going to move over this way. When you disengage, only the first square that you move from does not provoke a tax opportunity, so you'd have to kind of go in a wide really? circle. Really? Yeah. You could come this way, I guess. Or go that way, yeah. That's lame. I'll just go over there. Is that part of the blade song that you can disengage as a That's bonus? part of being a rogue. I forgot Your that you had rogue water, it's, called, it's called cunning action. I forgot you had rogue yeah, levels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, forget it. Never mind. Uh, Mr. Tiki. All right. Feeling very accomplished from killing a zombie one hit. Uh... And seeing my friend pretty bloodied. Um, and I go into my pouch, I pull out a vial of ring liquid, and I throw it onto the plant. Uh, it does a dexterity saving throw. It got a 19. Nice. All right. I wish these dice rolled this well for me when I was playing my own character last week. <laughs> she died like three times. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Which right. is like one more than normal. I might be able to uh, relate to her here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Tiki's coming to yeah. save you. Attempting. Don't you have that healing? The splash misses. Go still have the healing. Okay. I also have the hands um, myself. Yes. Oh, that. Oh. Um. Okay. I'm gonna traipse over to this guy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Pow, pow. <laughs> yeah. Turn. First attack with the flail. Mm, Eleven. And no, oh. ten damage. Nice. That that's not the first damage. Um, and it's just like crumples under the weight of your. Okay, I keep moving. I have two more movement. <laughs> it's dead. Wop. Nice. Okay. Um. I and. kick it as I walk by. You just go. Wop. Was a drive-by flare. Yeah. It was. Not enough time for. Him. Tiny zombies. Some weird vine creature up here. Hmm. I could use some advice. So, I don't think there's anything I could you do could in- You talk with the plants. No, I didn't take that spell today. Oh, <laughs> you, can grow, you can grow vines. I could have been like- <laughs> Strangle Death. him, strangle him. I'll tell you what it would say if you found it. Or if you talked to it, it would say brains. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, um- I was thinking I could change into some animal to, like, grab Kanaz and, like, get him away from the plant thing, but I he can don't think that I can. He can turn. Um, wow, maybe. I... <laughs> his turn comes before your turn, okay? Oh, I know that. Mm, or does it? Yes. Uh, so what I'm going to do... <laughs> what I'm going to do oh, is... Uh, I start running, and I... <laughs> Uh, all is good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. You can, and as I'm running, I transform into a warhorse. Nice. And I have a speed of 60 as a warhorse. So 10, 20, 30. Do you still have your horns? Five. As a warhorse? No, I don't think 50. so. 50. I can get right here. I can get into that space. Okay. And okay. when you're charging an opponent, um, you can... Oh, I can't attack because I already used a spell. I don't mm. get a bonus attack. You used a spell? Right. Yeah, to wild shape. Oh. So I'm just going to try to block. Do you have any like bonus actions or anything? Mm, I don't think I can make a bonus action. I think you could if you had one. But I don't know that you yeah, have any like. Yeah, if you have any. Um, Maybe that's the best. Okay. Uh, can no, I ask you up? You're not immune to poison, right? You don't... I'm immune to disease. Disease. So poison is... Not affected. Okay, so make a constitution save. As standing next to this terrible stench just like creeps into your nose. Do I have time notes. to do a bonus action? Well, no, or... at the beginning of your turn make a constitution save. Thirteen. You are incapacitated until the end of the turn as you are doubled over vomiting from the stench. Um, Alright. So then it's its turn. This is going to be fun for you. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think you're lying to me, Wes. Good DMs don't lie. <laughs> Good DMs don't lie. <laughs> it hits you um, and misses Hello. and attacks again. And with a 20, does that hit you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And its third attack missed. It did attack you while you... Well, because you're... On the ground, dying, it gets advantage. 
Uh, but it's still missed on this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, so you take six, seven, eight damage of bludgeoning and make a constitution save. Uh, I mean, I'm down. You're unconscious? What's your total hit points? 40 some? Yeah, okay, you're fine. I was going to say, if I rolled high enough to actually kill you. Yeah. So um, Okay, so you're down. And then tried to hit you while you were down and missed still. And then the zombie... Oh, but then as its bonus action, one of its flowers will... <laughs> another zombie. <laughs> which falls down right here. Ooh, of course. Yeah, and attacks so Nat. And misses... I don't know, my AC's pretty low. What'd you roll? Not the horse. Uh, I mean, I'm a warhorse. My AC is not high. Oh, you're a warhorse. Did you beat an 11? 12. 12 hits. Okay, so it hits you. What's Got your, a big ass. What's your hit points? <laughs> 19. So you take 5 oh. damage from this zombie appearing out of nowhere and just uh, clobbering you. And the other zombie is going to stumble forward, fall off of the gallows, and also attack you. And that's a nat 20. I'm about to get kicked out of my warhorse form, aren't I? Six damage. Okay. What did I do on the first one? Two. Five. Five. Five and then six. And then six. Okay. All right. That's its turn. Uh, Dark Hasten. Yeah. Here you go. I'm going to use a bonus action to hide because it's raining. Yeah, and there's tombstones everywhere. You can right. find a spot. I need my warhorse axe. You going it's underneath or up on top of I'm the going gallows? Past. Oh, around. Because oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going back to the back end. Back around it. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to do a sneak attack on that thing. Okay. Mm. It has. Well, go ahead. I'm also going to cast green flame because there's a lot of dudes right there. Yep. Nice. Uh, that's a twenty-four to hit. You hit. And I deal. Um, this one's the jumping flame. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. I deal seven points of piercing damage with an additional three fire damage to the corpse plant. And then to this zombie, um, a flame jumps off. Actually, it has to be five feet away, so it'll jump to this zombie. And Those hit are, it. Either of them are five feet away. Okay. It'll hit it for an additional six fire. Okay, six? Mm -hmm. Cool. It worked out another zombie, right? It doesn't mind the fire. Um, I yeah. just so you guys are aware, I have rolled three natural, four natural twenties this battle. So nice. Most of them ah! on, most of them on Constitution saves. <laughs> yeah. so. Um, and so you notice when you sneak? Didn't you roll your sneak attack dice? Yeah. Okay. That was my. This. Right. I'm a really high level rogue. <laughs> so you noticed uh, <laughs> that when you snuck around to sneak attack it, that it was aware that you were there. But distracted by the warhorse right in front of it as well. So I think I get sneak attack when I have advantage on a roll. Right. But that, I was about to tell yeah. you you yeah. did not get sneak attack because it has blind sight. Um, oh. But then I noticed you were flanking, so it didn't yeah. matter. You still got the sneak attack. Blind sight. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, it, it, it seemed no to it seemed to shuffle uh, when I approached. Okay. This is, right. Oh, this is me as a horse. Mr. Tiki. Uh, really. A constitution save. Start up there. your turn. Going to try to drag him away. Jeez, what's the range on that thing? It's an aura. Nineteen. Probably ten. At least ten feet. Yeah. Uh, you're fine. Your robot knows. Knows no. Knows. <laughs> <laughs> you never installed the nose. Good for you. <laughs> All right. Um, olfactory program not running. Four oh four. All right. So I go into my uh, pouch again, and I throw a. Vial full of flames uh, into the spot right here, which hits both of these folks, and they nice. both need to do a dexterity saving throw. It's another natural 20 on a saving throw. Yeah. You've got yeah. it. Shitting. Give me your Still dice. Thing. Somehow, <laughs> somehow that zombie survived. Yeah, why don't we get good dice? Um, the dex save for the flower, though, is a 16. 16. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Half damage, though? Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, this rain is just really putting a damper on all of your guys' yeah. fire attacks. We're going to theme it that way. Uh -huh. I really hate that I uh, I just realized that I have proficiency in charisma saving throws, 
Who has ever made a charisma saving throw in the history of I'm D&D? Not, I, is that a thing? Um, it's <laughs> against, charisma saving throw? There's charms. Charm spells, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, I tried to charm those Inquisitors right. last Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. but they also are paladins and mm-hmm. have yeah. all kinds of advantage on yeah. it, so. Um, okay. That was Mr. Tiki. Alet, roll me... Oh, you're all the way over there. Okay. If you get one... is twice? No, it's just every square is a square. If you get here... But I want to attack it. I want to, like, bypass it. Oh. You have enough. Like, 5, 10, 15... Yep. Yeah. Is that mm-hmm. legit? You That's legit. It. Okay. I ain't afraid of no vine monster. Advantage on that roll. Do I? Yes, because you're yeah. flanking. Yep. You're flanking a horse. <laughs> and you, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of there, too. That's good. I needed yeah. that. Okay. Uh, 23. I'll smell all your dice sparkly. 7. Nice um, These ones aren't. Two, oh, three okay. sets of sparkly. <laughs> Dude, I mean, these are like sorry, normal. Sorry, sorry. Keep counting. You're fine. So yeah, first attack seven damage. What did you get to hit? Twenty four, uh, twenty three. Yeah, yeah. So how much damage? Yeah. Seven is that what you said? Yes. And then do I, I get advantage on all my attacks? Mm-hmm. Uh oh, that's this stuff. All the ones you get to take. On my second attack, uh, I only got a sixteen. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, so then that's six damage. Let me switch that one out. That one's not behaving. And then on my third attack, that's better. Another base 23. 23. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's not that, though. Seven damage. Nice. Oh. Um, so you just, like, slice into that flower, cutting off vines and flowers and okay, all sorts of Okay, on that stuff. last one, I'm going to say, because I can use any of my maneuvers on an attack that hits. Okay. So you don't have to say it until after you know that it hits. If I did mm, right. the maneuvering attack, which is that you give one of your allies the ability to move, mm-hmm. could she use it to try to drag Kanaz, or that's like too no. much? It's just be that's like too her much. Move. It's, it's, a grapple, it's, it's you give them a, a move action, and he does not have a move action because he is unconscious. No, 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 she wants to give me a move action so I could try so that she can try. Oh. To move I'm not Kinoz. even sure how grappling would work as I'm a horse right now. I mean, like, well, she to, like, to, like, like, to drag you away. Yeah. yeah, no, there's not any. You could probably is bite that, on the grappling part of him. You move. make a. Uh, drag him away. A dex check to grab him and, and throw him onto your back or whatever. Or unless you're just going to grab and pull, then it's fine. You just do it. So I'm she could just... do that if I gave her yeah. that? Okay. Okay. That's what so we're gonna I'm going to do that. So I expend a superior droid, which is a d6. And I guess I roll it. As opposed to you rolling it, yeah, because it's going to go to my damage, and then you can move that much? Up to half its speed. Oh, okay. So that adds five to the damage, and then also I'm nice. like, uh, Nat, get him! Or, I don't know, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, know, something. So I have a move of 30, well, I have a move of 60, I get to move up to half, my move is 30, if I'm dragging him, is it half again? Without attack, provoking attack of opportunity. Which you normally would. Without? Yeah. Without. Oh, that nice. creature can use its reaction and move up to half its speed without provoking a t- opportunity attacks. Oh, from the target of my attack. So the zombies would still so get attacks. Zom- the zombies both still get attacks. Oh. Maybe. That's okay. Let them Sorry, try. Your They're probably not going to hit. Oh, okay. Let cool. your horse. Let's continue. Okay, so you you grab him and How drag far him down. How 15 feet? 15 feet. 5, 10, 15. This is as far as I can And then the go. zombies can try well, again. Because he's up, so you would have to... Have like jump up there to pick him up and drag him that way. So you'll have to drag him down this way. Oh, uh, I see. Oh yeah, it's a rise. So yeah. five, ten, fifteen, and he would be in that square. Okay. But then those zombies. Well, at least he's probably out of the um, the noxious. What's fumes, your AC as are you, that horse? Eleven. Oh, that's right. You're, yeah, so they probably do both. Hit. Yeah, they both. Horses, horses, horses. Oh, that horses. might not No, they don't worked. because that's what it says. They don't get tax opportunity. So the, the target, target of, of the, attack, oh, right, the zombies. Right. Sorry, did. We just went over that. And I, I told you they probably won't hit, but then I forgot that your AC is super shitty as the horse. Because so I'm giant. Right. Yeah. So even with their Goodbye. zombie, attack, they might have put me out of my. That's okay. Form. That's the only reason you went into animal form. But then can you not change wild shape oh, again until oh, after? Like, I probably only got like five feet if they put me out of animal form with the tax of opportunity. Six. I wouldn't have gotten very far. Like so I would have made my do... full fifteen feet. Right. So seven well, from one of them and two from the other. Yeah, I'm out. Two. I only had eight hit points left. Oh, I thought that was to hit. That was your damage. 
No, seven was one damage. Two was the two other. Two was the other, and that's nine, and I only had eight hit points. And if I recall right, the overspill damage does not affect your Only if... Normal no, damage. I do take the overspill. The overspill does. Okay. So I take one damage. But only the overspill. Can you continue moving, though? Yeah. So you could stop. I mean, you've drag. got... You've got yeah, your you're mouth, out of the though. square now, so... But what? She's dragging him by her mouth. <laughs> It's pretty fantastic. Wait, so where, yeah, so where do you want me to land? Like maybe we're more like here or something. If he got me, and then I, I mean, you can still far. keep moving. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna come to, and I'm you're like, like uh, <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's <laughs> Mr. Tiki. Think of this. <laughs> <laughs> was gonna, that was going to be my joke his, on my his turn. Wheels are turning. Uh, very amused. <laughs> yep, very amused. Um, I'm already spent. Okay, so then it is now your turn, Nat, and okay. you may take a fortitude save. Is that from the smell? Is that they're all doing fortune? From the smell. Okay. You mean constitution? Yeah. Constitution. Five. Thank you. Okay, so you are doubled over vomiting from the stench. No. And cannot Got take your turn. Got Sorry, real, man. Real glad I was in your, Wait. In your mouth a moment ago. Wait, are you <laughs> 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 Yeah, you're, you're vomiting all over. You transform out of horse, and you're like, oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't smell that as I a horse. I saw this episode but... of the Treehouse of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, I thought you were out. You were just prone? No, oh, I'm a oh, he's okay. That's right. So you don't know that you just yeah, have it all over. But don't worry, you the rain will wash it off. And I'm not <laughs> taking a turn. Is that what's happening? Yeah, so you do not get your turn. Okay. Apparently you guys she... might not notice okay. the smell. Yeah. <laughs> Kenaz, give me a death save. Better than D twenty. D twenty. Okay. Does it get to add any modifiers? No, no it's just D20. Just straight up. Fifty fifty. Fifteen. Okay, you are okie doke. You're not dying. That's, so that's one success. Oh you're not dead? He needs three successes. Alright. The flower's turn. It turns. Come at me, bro. Um, oh gosh, it's really upset that it that you took that delicious meal away from it. Mm -hmm. Those nutrients forever gone. I'm I so know, right? <laughs> uh, So its zombies will attack you. They go rawr. and it's going to turn and attack the more pressing threat. Who else? Don't you have some healing abilities? Do you get an attack of opportunity? No, you didn't. I didn't. Are you doing that? Square? I do, okay. but I expended it. No, because he moved, but he stayed. Day, I only have. Yeah. And a then one a day it'll also chuck a new zombie down Three here to attack our case. To heal. Um, right. All right, so the two zombies attacking Nat. Us? What's your Why new is Trell helping us? Yeah, what, what's Trell doing? God fucking Trell. I told you he's a douche. Man. Maybe he passed out. I don't know. I don't know. He's probably minding the other, the yeah, other freaked three. out. He's not a warrior. He's just going to come to you and they're going to all just been devoured by zombies and this will all have been for naught. Yeah. Oh, you already did it. All right. Um, and then the zombie that attacks Tarkassin also misses. And then... Did it barf another zombie? Yep. Great. It can do that every turn. Until it runs out. Mm -hmm. Or it dies. Until it runs out? Um, it has a limited number of them. Yeah. It carries only so many bodies. Um, and, fun fact, it doesn't have to spurt them out at you. It can just digest them and heal instead. <laughs> so when we don't know. see them coming out. Yeah. Well, no, that would have been a fun thing to like just found. <laughs> Later, right. I'll lecture you all on the fascinating uh, physiology of these creatures. <laughs> oh no! Stop it! Nat twenty has dice with us. So I got a, a nat twenty, a twenty-one, and then a nat one. So oh it like God, hits its own nice. zombie and kills it. Oh, that's nice. Um, I accept but that. it also crits one of but you. But it also critted you. Me? Yes. Come at me, bro. It, it did. <laughs> it did. Make critically. a two Constitution save. Two. So I, have an eight. I think I have a wow. constitution it's modifier. No yep. Uh, four and yeah. eleven. Oh. Okay. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Um. Okay. So, from the critical, you take fifteen from its vine, and then fifteen of poison. I wrote that I was at forty. What did I take damage for earlier in the day? We all took damage Wait, the from mist. the mist. The mist. The mist. Oh, when we woke up. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then the second attack does six damage and two, three, six, eight poison. So if you had ten from earlier... I'm at ten now. Are you? Yeah. Because it was fifteen, fifteen, six, and eight. Oh. Then no, I'm out. Yeah. I only heard the fifteen and fifteen. I'm at negative four. I don't know that there is negative, right? It just goes to zero? Does it, it matter? It goes to zero, yeah. It's getting ready to eat you now. Yay! 
Is that a heal hit? <laughs> so wait, did they each attack me twice? Well, he got two it, attacks because it critted. Right, it has three vines that it can attack with, and it critted you, and did a normal hit, and then accidentally killed its own zombie. Why'd I get six and eight? Because you also take uh, poison damage from each attack. Uh -oh. So it's 15 on the crit, plus 15 poison, and then six from the second hit, Gross. and each poison. Okay. If you made those constitution saves... Darkassin, make a constitution save. Good luck. Oh no, you're just as good Three. as me. Three! Alright. You, you're you vomiting all over. The, you cannot I just watch, stand. I just watched Alette die. The <laughs> 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 naughty's a gross. Oh no, this is He's uh, like frost. That really zombie got bad. just like poison sprayed right into your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So you do nothing this turn. Mr. Tiki. Fantastic. Is Mr. Tiki immune to poison? He is, no, well, he successfully saved last turn, so is now immune, unless you are immune to poison. I think he's a, considered a construct, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, unless Warforged has a thing in its stat block that says immune to poison. Right. I feel but like it should I think be. constructs are. Um, I will cast uh, Cure Wounds on Kanaz. Do you have to touch him? Oh, healing word you can haul around. And cure wounds, I think you have, you have to, to touch him. Yeah, uh, cure wounds, you have to touch him. Where are you? He's here, so you just oh, walk okay. around. Uh, yeah, I might get attacked. Yep, there what? is an attack of opportunity from that zombie. No. Who promptly rolls a natural 20. <laughs> God damn it. Worse. I should be switching out these dice. They're doing too well. Uh, nine damage. All right. Uh, yeah, so then I will cure wound and give you ten hit points back. Nice. <gasps> right. Oh, oh, what is all <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you proceed to write. Oh, uh, is that, was that your, yeah. your turn? I'm going to yell as a free action to you during your turn, uh, move farther away from me. To both uh, of us? No, I'll have to move on my turn. That's fine. Because he's up now, so. That's fine. Okay. Mm. Alright. Uh, yep. Save against death. 18. 18! Alright, one success. Nah. Yeah, I'll, um... <coughs> mm, this will attack, uh, provoke an attack, attack of opportunity from both of them, won't it? Yep. If you Damn move, it. yeah. Alright, I can't move then, in that case. Um, I will... I'll lift both of my arms and whisper something in a foreign tongue, and a silvery, pale beam of moonlight shines down in front of me um, in a five-foot radius. Does that mean it can only take one target, or can I overlap targets? Uh, yeah, you can get four squares, basically. Okay, so yeah, I'll target... Cool. I'll go to the center here and try to hit all three of them. Good. The what are they going to do? Intersection. So that's um, Constitution saving throw, which is fourteen saves. The zombies both fail, and the corpse flower also fails. There was three natural ones. Yay! Wow, that's that's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> that is kind of amazing. Um, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time or starts its turn there, does that mean I can't? It's, it's It takes effect it's immediately. immediate, yes. It must make a constitution saving throw. It takes 2d10 <laughs> radiant damage on a failed save. All or right. half as much on a so, successful one. So, so the zombies, those zombies just, like, disintegrate. They're gone, gone. 2d10. And I yell... And then roll me the damage for the Stay away from my flower. friend. The 2d10. Only one Stay friend? What about me? Special Stay friend. away from my platonic friend. <laughs> 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 Such a problem. Uh, five damage. Did not roll well, but five radiant damage. Cool. Uh, and then, uh, how are you looking to me, um, Tiki? Are you looking strong, strong or not strong? I'm good. Alert right. is dead. Hey, with my yes. rushing, sure. can I <laughs> do reactions? Um, no, you are incapacitated. No actions, no reactions. I had to look it up too because I wasn't sure. Okay, incapacitated. 
Yeah, no reactions. Uh, I'm not gonna move. I'll stay where I am. <laughs> um, but it says until the end of the turn. So yeah, until the beginning of your next turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my turn. So it's them. Really? No. It's, it's, it's Kanaz. It's Kanaz. All right, you're up. Heal yourself. Come on. Uh, 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 Come and roll a constitution save. God. You're still in still the stench, in I think. Stench? I think Aren't so. Aren't we all? Nice. Uh, that's an 18. Okay. Well you're fine. Your near-death experience has cured you of the of the scent. Yeah. You're like, I don't care what it smells like. It's better than where I just was. All right. Uh, I am going to, as a bonus action, lay on hands myself, uh, and I it's get... It's only a bonus action? That's nice. You can do that in public? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if I can. And very it's quickly. the rain. It's the it, rain. Is, is no the forest really it's, public? We're all, all, all wet anyway. Uh, all right, Poor Mr. Tiki's going to be so right. confused. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how many do I get? Uh, 25. I'm gonna burn 15 of them bad boys. No, no. No, no. First it is the biting of the clothing. Uh, then, then I'm going to cast, uh, protection from poison on myself. Uh, using one of my second level slots. Does that grant you immunity or resistance? Uh, it neutralizes the current poison, uh, and then... I have advantage on all saving throws against being poisoned, and nice. I have resistance to poison damage. Nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> and that is my turn. Okay. Laid on hands and protection from poison before I wade back into this bitch. Okay. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it going to eat so me? It can't move. It, like, takes this, one of its tentacles reaches down and grabs this dead zombie and just, like, Puts it back into itself. Oh, awesome. Do so we have to watch that? Ugh. <laughs> Don't look, Mr. Tiki. Too innocent for this. <laughs> and then it spits out another one from a different oh, flower. Flop. Nice. And that zombie attacks uh, Darkassen and misses. And it's Darkassen's turn. So another throw up check. Five. Oh man, it smells really <laughs> bad over here. Mr. Tiki. Who's down? Anyone? Me. Oh, oh. let's down. <laughs> Me. Your wounds. Bing. Yes. Ten hit points. Do I have to? I was not at negative before, so I just get ten. Matter. It doesn't yeah, matter you what just I was go at. To okay. Zero. So now you're at ten. Okay. So you are my friend. She is now, I believe, standing up. Yep. Oh, do I stand up? Oh, yeah. well, oh, no, you don't stand up. <laughs> you stand up on your turn. So, but the it is standing, your turn. The so standing up attack and provoke an attack of opportunity. No, but it uses up half of your movement. Okay. But before you can even do that, roll a Constitution save. Hmm. <laughs> Unless, did you already succeed on one earlier, or did you not take one yet? I don't think I took one she yet. Hasn't. Yeah. Eleven. I think you're vomiting. <laughs> you awake and are like, oh god, what's that smell? Oh! Yeah, put your face down. <laughs> Eleven doesn't cut it. The, the cold, you know, from the cure wounds, you're like... She's <laughs> 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 really gasping, but, uh, yeah, but yeah. I'm taking in more of this toxic... Yep. Can I you, you, had, something you just that had to smell? breathe it all in, and it was really bad. Yeah, you're right at the base of that thing. That was a quick reaction, I roll her over so she's not vomit onto herself. <laughs> nah. Can I turn into something that doesn't smell? Like, have a sense of smell? No. All I can turn into are things with really keen senses of smell. <laughs> Good. What about a snake? Good. Yeah, snake but I mean, smell? just because I'm smells or a bad yeah, person. Like, like, dog yeah, can you, the smell maybe of you can smell it. It's true. Good. Maybe the dire wolf would just be loving What about that. an imp? Loving yeah. that. Your your instinct would take over and you'd have to roll in it. Okay. I have to, I have to <laughs> save before I, uh, save before I transform anyway. Hey, I think I made it. 15. Yes, you are fine. Woo-hoo. Oh, thank God. You are sick two. of that smell, but you are resolved to not throw up. I'm going to be like, you assholes, and do the same thing I did before, centered at this point, to get the zombie and 
The, but do, it'll get me. No, it's only yeah, five it foot radius. So yeah. I, if I do it between their squares, yeah, it hits fine. both their squares, but it doesn't hit yours. Um, same thing. It's a Constitution saving throw, DC fourteen for both of them. Okay. Zombie fails. And a nat twenty on the corpse flower. Oof. Okay, but the zombie will take. Do you want me to roll it? Um. Yes. Okay. Corpse flowers because it's mode. is it radiant damage? Yeah, oh, and so it then takes it just kapoofs. Okay, it and the corpse flower takes half damage on a successful save, so one d ten. Gonna roll that. Yes. Okay. It takes five nice. radiant damage. It does not like that one bit. I'm running out of level two spell slots really fast, though. I think it, that, if, that was it. I'm out if only I had that problem. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Can ask. All right. Uh, now that I am protected from poison, I am going to get right back into the thick of this. I'm going to start by using a bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark again because it's a concentration spell and turns out being knocked out renders Not that so. invalid. Yep. Uh, and so then I'm going to run up the stairs up behind that thing and I'm going to uh. smack it with my axe again. Because I like advantage. to hit things with my axe. Uh, Get it. That is a 16. You hit. You're also attacking at advantage of my axe. Ah. Because I'm flanking. Yep. Huzzah. Sure, you can roll a crit. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll roll the other one. Nope, did not roll a crit. Uh, but I do 11, uh, 14 damage with that attack. Okay. And then my second attack, uh, 16 again, and 10, 13 damage. Okay. Nice. It's getting chopped up and flopping off of the big, those big old uh, flowers on top. Yeah. Then it's his turn. So you see one of those flowers start to pulsate. It's going to slurp out another zombie, but then it doesn't. It's healing itself. And then it's going to like reach out its tentacles over the edge of the gallows and like start to climb and slither itself this direction. So those two of you get attacks of opportunity. Do I? No, you're down. Uh, you're vomiting. vomiting. Mark me. Twelve. But Darkasan was That's vomiting. A hit. Nice. I don't get to... Oh, so yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah I don't get to react. Uh, does Hunter's Mark apply... Yeah, anytime I hit it with a weapon attack. Noise. Yes. Uh, that is 7, 10. Okay. All right, so it's slowly climbing its way across the ground up and over um, gravestones, heading into the woods trying to, to run away from you guys. Uh, Darkassin, you feel fine now. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and run after it. Nice. Slide under the gallows, jump up on Actually, top. Actually, no, 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 hold up. Can I... Let's do this. Can I use my bonus action to attempt to hide and do a ranged attack on it? Okay, let's do that. Don't think I get. I don't get to add the fire though. It sucks. Nat twenty, baby. Ooh, nice. Shitty sneak attack. <laughs> shitty sneak attack damage. Uh, Luckily, no. I get a reroll. You remember that it has blind sight, and there is no sneak attack. Well, I'll take way one of those. It was the same as the other. Yes, look at this mega hit. I crit that thing. For three <laughs> fucking damage. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, oh, no. I was about to let you have a really cool kill shot, but three is not good. <laughs> no, no. The sneak attacks are both ones. Uh, I figured, though, it. Nice try. Though. Tremor Sense wouldn't have noticed an arrow fly through the air. But, you know, you, you do you. And I did. Mr. Tiki. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tiki. Is upset and wants to go kill this thing, although it is happy that it has begun a ritual that it wanted to initiate with Darkassin and that. 
Um, so it will... <laughs> he'll roll to hit him with his axe. And that'll be a 17. That's hit. a hit. All right. And it's going to be... Seven damage. All right, that's enough. How do you finish it off? Uh, hand axe right to its face, right wherever his brain might be. Doesn't really have a face or a it's brain. The, but... Oh, great. Oh, just right into the body of it. All right. Yeah, you chop it up, and you chop, chop, chop it. Nice. And it's just, just very robotic. Slithers. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yep. And some of its vines kind of like slither away, but it's it's dead now. It is a chopped up, burnt mess of plant and zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we did it! <sighs> you even, you, uh, you would, would even notice that, like, in the wreckage and the carnage of the corpse flower, there are um, six corpses kind of cocooned inside some of those flowers, buds. Oof. I, uh, I run over to Alette. And do my last What's little that? bit of lay on hands. Oh, thanks. And uh, give you ten health. Ten, that's nice. Yeah, you got HP back. I just had to look through the dead plant body to see if I find anything. Yeah, I yeah, I want to investigate too. I yeah. You. I'm good. You find those six <laughs> corpses and all of the gear they happen to have on them. Ooh. Who else is hurt? I'm down 11 HP. Luckily, my horse took most of it. I don't know how he's just going to do this. I'd probably better download to my computer and send it from that way. Yeah, probably. Uh, I will cast aid on the three of us. Uh, so we each get five hit points. And our hit points max now. is increased. Huh? You could, cool. yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, your max is increased by five for the next eight hours. Uh, so the rest connect, of the day. Yeah, cool. And the last of my left two spell slots, so don't expect much more of me today. You pull a melee weapon, don't you? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll use it. Like, I just mean magic twice. Twice. Yeah. I yeah, used all my level two. It's not like you're useless, <laughs> yeah. like a sorcerer or something. No. <laughs> I've also used my hellish rebuke for the day. Right. So I am down to a cantrip and three spells that I can do. <laughs> oh, lucky for you, I'm all fresh. <laughs> Um, so you find, amongst the gear of these corpses, 900 gold. Ooh, I'm writing it down. But we're going to split it. Yeah, I'm just writing it down. I, I didn't write it on my character sheet, I, I wrote it in my it? notes. How do I find it? I'm not writing it and down in my, so my equipment section. Be. Some also interesting things. Hey, how's the bag in your head, Alette? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, All right. you, you haven't looked for any roses for Harold. Nope. I look at oh oh oh! I investigate whether this horrible stench creature was made partially of any roses, any rose material in this, no. or in the graveyard in general. Yeah, you could probably find some scraggly, you know, crawling rose bushes in, almost anywhere in the forest. I find a rose. What's your point? Hi, Let. I brought Harold this rose. Would you? Yeah, just, would you bring him my message? I hold up in the bag. <laughs> Drop in it's the so rose exciting! Petal. I plug a rose <laughs> petal up and I drop it in. All right, the bag like closes up, and you hear it going, nom, 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 nom. and then it opens up and spits out forty gold. Cool. Oh, that's, that's fine. But no, <laughs> <laughs> we are splitting that. Mm, a lot. You weren't you even going to feed Harold. Yum. What did he say? Mm, yum. Oh, okay. You were not going to feed him. You weren't even going to. My bag. It lives just... in my head. Half and half. Fight me. <sighs> really? I give you one. Oh my god. I leave, it, I leave it on the ground. I leave it on the ground. Uh, I go check on the other three uh, tiefling slaves and... Uh, Trow. Hold on. Trow. You also find amongst the gear of these things... I just want to make sure that somebody was actually checking like, on the other. Like this, this, uh, oh yeah, people. that's true. <laughs> Fine. We sort of yeah, forgot them in our near-death experience. One of them has a little uh, statuette carved out of bone mm. of the um, constellation that looks like little stars arranged in a constellation. It's like a piece of bone fragment that has uh, constellations oh, like carved into it. Is, this, is astronomy nature? Mm, yes. Nature. Yeah. Also, I would allow anyone with a religion check to roll that. I might have that. Nope. Nope. None of those things. 20. Do I recognize the constellation? You recognize it as, um, 
like yeah, <laughs> the North Star sort of guiding, um, like that a, sh- a person who paladin with no sails a ship would have like that that North constellation in order to to guide them by, and but even you would recognize it as that's the constellation that is associated with the god Celestian, the god of wanderers. Cool. Um, and then so that was on one of those bodies. Mm. Nine hundred gold was on one body. No, no. It was, it was amongst the go- yeah, amongst the bodies, they had that many gold and these items. Yeah. They were probably bandits. I, I mean, know. who else Reasonable has nine hundred gold? And um, one of them has uh, appeared to be a. Um, oh, you can just for book bookkeeping purposes, you can write that that um, bone uh, symbol of Celestian. You think you could probably sell it at five gold? Okay. Um, then one of them was a tiefling and he had a really nice, um, mirror, a steel mirror, but in a really nice porcelain, uh, casing that on the back of which was painted, um, Targamuth as the Punisher. The Punisher? One of his four forms. Mm. And you think that you could get 60 gold for that in the Mm. right market. Mm. Of the tiefling. Right. Black okay. And one of them has a uh, pouch of uh, spices. Ooh. Who, who's like in to cook? Who was cooking for us? Who made Darkest pizza? Darkest on. One That's all you, friend. of spice. And the fourth one. Can I smell the sack and tell what it's? <laughs> what spices are in it? Smells like pizza. <laughs> it's it's like a, a lemon salt. Oh, okay. One of them had a couple of small uh, white quartz gems. Probably not worth a lot. But... And the other one was wearing really nice armor with of the Rasvamari tradition. Um, it's sort of shaped like an owl bear almost, but it's rusted out like no other. Mm, that's your one. <laughs> We might leave that. What is it? It's some ornate heavy armor. Yeah, some really ornate heavy armor that looks like an, an owl bear. It's like got all these feathers on it and everything, mm. as if the, the the warrior was a a barbarian or not a barbarian really, but like a I don't know. Yeah, tribal warrior. A tribal warrior who worships an that? owl bear or something. Mm. But it's no. all all oh. all rotted out and rusted from being Never inside of that corpse flower for so long. That's too bad. How I many is that? Five things or do you well, get a six? The Was that all six? Two, three, four, five. Six counting the gold. Okay, so then the last one is a glass blower's kit. Ooh, fancy. Hmm. Maybe Teak would like this. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what was the question that I had right before? Oh, I just oh, said I went trail. to check on the uh, on trial oh. on the others. So you find the, them um, over on the other side of the graveyard. Uh, did I mention before if Trell actually did carry a weapon? I thought he uh, did have a side sword. I thought he had a side sword. I feel like he should, he had, but... He had but... Um, and one of you gave a weapon to him also. I to think. No, I to gave Forkus. Forkus my well, small right. warning. But you were using it. No, you weren't. No, no I was no. using my axe. Right. Yeah. So between the two of them, it looks like they had cur- um, killed two zombies. Huh. That they had actually they had been under attack as well and managed to murder some zombies while you guys were defeating the corpse. Good for them. Nice, nice. Cool. Let's take a short rest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, short sounds great. Yeah. I like how, it here. How does healing during a short rest work in this? You can choose to expend as many of your hit dice as you want. Right. So we have so if five? You, right, so you can five. roll all five of them and heal that much damage. Oh. But then you're out of them if you get... Until a, a long rest. Until a long rest. And okay. at the long rest, you only heal half of them back up. So, it takes so if you a use all of them rests. today, oh. it takes you two days to heal all of your... Hmm, that's complicated. Okay. Yep. okay. Um, well, we right, took so a short rest. You took your short rest... Told stories about killing zombies. I killed them all by myself. I was sat awesome. in the rain for a while. Kind of, you know, rinse the vomit off my cloak. I'm and right. sorry. <laughs> go I produce go water, through I the, the corpse flower and the corpses inside of it and get out all that gear. Um, 
And then... You get back on the road. Um, Nat and our Dark Hassan helping Nat, go ahead and roll a survival check to see if you can find your way back to the village. You you knew you thought that you were close when you saw those lights. You're like, I know it's around us. How are we so close? I rolled a nineteen. To All see right. How close we are. So you you get back to where you were when you saw the will o' wisps, and you're like, okay, now I I think it's definitely this way. And you start heading off that way for a while, um, and then eventually, those of you with the high per, per, high passive perception spot a group of uh, three uh, figures kind of walking nearby you in one direction. If they're, they're not like walking towards you, but they're out in the woods sort of adjacent to you, and so you could approach them or not if you... So hey, you see those people? Yeah, but I can't make out what they are. Yeah, they look like humans or elves or something like that. They Can don't I... seem shambling or anything like that? <laughs> I would draw your attention to them. Or, I don't know, whoever is walking near me, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'll go and investigate. No, I'm not going to investigate, but I'm telling everyone. I'll go with them. some people over there. I'll go hail them. Okay. Hello! I hail. Hello! One of them responds to you, and um, you approach, and I say, Greetings. These are... They kind of look like elves. Would I recognize these individuals? You might recognize these individuals. Um, oh, I'm going to be like, oh, hey, um, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, old pal. It's hey, been, man. Been a, been a while, oh. dude. <laughs> <laughs> so they are pale-skinned, white-haired, elf-looking people. And you do definitely recognize these guys, um, Nat and Kanaz, as residents of Mancaster. Just random people. Yeah, I don't know that you've ever met them before, but you've maybe seen them in the village, because it's, I mean, it's a small village. It's a couple yeah. hundred people that live there, so. I don't know. You guys headed out of town? No, uh, we're just uh, patrolling the perimeter, hunting for skulks, make sure they don't skulks. run into the father of the, the town's folk. Good deal. Yeah, we had a bit of a run-in earlier. Not skulks, though, so, you know, keep those eyes peeled. Oh, yeah, definitely. got Got to be prepared out here. In Elvish, I'll say, we had a sighting of the walker last night. Yeah, they speak Elvish. They are essentially elves. Uh, the one that's sort of the, the leader of the group would respond, probably in common, and say, oh, the walker. Yeah, we'd heard that he was near the bridge. I... Meliata mentioned that he might be around and for us to keep an eye out, but I don't believe she meant further out in the woods, not near the city at least. Yeah, it was. It was just shortly after entering the wood. So. Uh, okay, then good. She has such far vision, um, yeah. and you two would know that Meliata is the dryad that is sort of is in charge of the town's safety. She's like the, I don't know, secretary of defense or whatever. General. She's the mm -hmm. general of the of the town guard. She's not like she doesn't. She's not the captain sheriff. of the guard. Are the sh no, there is well, it's not a guard, it's a sheriff. There is a sheriff, mm -hmm. but she's like his boss. How do you spell her name? Meliata, uh, M E L L I A T A. And she's a druid, or a dryad, sorry. Almost got it. So she can hop in and out of her trees and kind of patrols all around the forest because she can. Cool. How much further till the town? Oh, it's not far. Um, maybe an hour. I mean, okay. He indicates, Felt like we should have been getting. They closer. indicate a direction. Yeah, he indicates a direction, and 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 you're like, yep, that's exactly the direction we were going. Definitely, where the light I saw was. <laughs> Definitely. So, unless Great. you have anything else with them, they'll well, they'll bid you well, good day and happy uh, hunting, as it were. Thank you. And they scurry on off. Those of you who are so inclined and want to make a nature check, I can tell you about them, what they actually are. I don't have nature. Not Nine. Long. I know they're those white elf guys that are around the town. Got a no, 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 19. Oof. Now strips and falls. Now he's got nature in his eye, and he's like, ah. Um, Matt and Kanaz would know that the, they 
are known in town as Shadarkai. Um, and if you mentioned that, but especially Darkhesen, knowing about various other elves would be familiar with them and know that they are that's what they are, who are um, elves who live in the Shadowfell or that had moved that had gone to the Shadowfell long ago, it's seduced by the Raven Queen and sort of made the Shadowfell their home and evolved into these sorts of beings. They're still technically elves. They're just another form of elf. Are they like okay. They're like drow in that they're another type of elf, but they are shadow fell instead of yeah, under. they're not dark mm. ones. Yeah. They're shadow fell. Yeah. Huh? Mm. And then the Eladrin are the fey ones. Right. Uh-huh. So then you continue on. The forest uh, seems to open up a little bit at some point, and you notice... Um, uh, that you're walking past almost like fields of uh, farmland Turnips. and yeah, just whatever will grow around here. <laughs> and you come into uh, an open an opening in front of a giant um, stump of a tree that is just hollowed out. Um, it's still probably like twenty feet tall and sixty feet around. This huge something that you know, big old oak tree or something that it used to be, but it had mm-hmm. long ago. Um, been destroyed and it sits now uh, in the middle of the town and there's a big branch of it that had fallen down and sits uh, on uh, one side with like houses built into it um, and that's where the inn is and you know the stump is sort of the the meeting grounds that the um, town goes to for meetings and or whatever you know and the inn is there, and there's other, you find weird shops hanging out in the trees that you didn't notice until all of a sudden you were in the middle of the village. Well, everyone, <laughs> welcome to Mancaster. You guys are going to love it. This is where you live. You have a home here. Not really, but I'm here a lot. No, uh, we usually just catch a room at the inn. Oh, okay. That not slept yeah. on the ground. Well, when possible. She sometimes <laughs> takes off into the... Outskirts of the woods. Hi. This is a great place. You're going to love it, Mr. Tiki. They're going to love you here. Yay! Here, you'll fit Mr. right Tiki. in. What do the other tieflings look like right now? They're digging it. Cool, cool. I'm feeling the vibe. Oh, this is great. We made it to town. We can do that Jeez. next time on Mile High Dungeon Delvers, Estenar Dawn. Yeah! yeah.